Why don't you go with Mr. Iceberg and I to see our ship before deciding? Luffy felt that for people who loved this industry, the existence of ship spirits was something they couldn't refuse. Huh? Like Frankie, the iceberg was also confused by Luffy's words, could it be that by looking at their ship, he could make himself promise to build a ship for them? Hey, you're too unreasonable, isn't it? Mr. Mayor is so busy, how can he have time to accompany you to see your ship, if you want to build a ship, just find the boatman here. Luffy ignored Khalifa, who was the secretary, and instead looked directly at the iceberg. Hmm. In that case, let's take a look, it's not much to do right now, anyway. Iceberg pondered for a moment, then nodded in agreement. If it were just an ordinary person, the iceberg might be routinely perfunctory. But the man in front of him, Iceberg had seen his bounty, and he had also learned something about his deeds from the newspapers. Whether it's dueling with Hawkeye, defeating Clockdoll, or inviting Nicole Robin, the son of the devil, aboard the ship. The man in front of him had not been reported to have attacked civilians. But if it annoys the other party because of this, the iceberg cannot guarantee that the other party will not attack this capital of Seven Waters. Even if there are many navies stationed here, it is not even far from the Justice Island of the world government. But no one can guarantee what will happen to this capital of Seven Waters before the help arrives. After all, no matter what you say, the other party is a pirate with a high bounty. Moreover, the iceberg is also very curious, what is different about their ship? Actually made the man in front of him so sure that he and Frankie would definitely help him build a new ship after reading it. Moreover, this man was able to find Frankie, and it seemed that he knew his relationship with Frankie. However, seeing that he did not expose it, the iceberg will naturally return the favor. Everyone is a smart person, and there are some things, each taking a step back, which is good for both parties. Mr. Mayor, you still have documents that you haven't taken care of, and besides, it's almost evening, do you really want to follow these, well, the pirates out? Khalifa lifted her glasses and reminded the iceberg. Whether as a member of CP9, the spy agency of the world government, or as a spy playing the role of secretary, she must speak out at this time. The goal of his mission is still on the iceberg, if these pirates rob the iceberg, then he and the others will definitely not be able to eat and walk around. I'll leave the documents to you, Khalifa, I'll follow them to see it, there will be no danger, you say yes, Mr. Luffy. It would be best if he could not let Khalifa follow, and his relationship with Frankie, even if it was Khalifa, the iceberg did not reveal it. When the time comes, if you leak your mouth, it may cause unnecessary trouble. Mr. Mayor, as a secretary, is it really good to disobey the mayor's orders like this? Khalifa looked serious and wanted to continue talking, but was directly interrupted by Luffy. These CP9 people are really professional, if they didn't know the true identity of the other party. Maybe they really thought that the other party was a good and conscientious secretary. You, Khalifa, who was interrupted by Luffy, glared at Luffy, but still held back and didn't have a seizure, but looked at the iceberg, as if trying to make him change his mind. All right, Khalifa, I'll leave the unfinished work to you, I'll follow Mr. Luffy and I'll be back. Although the iceberg has always let this secretary go, there should be majesty, and there should still be it. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Interrupted by Iceberg's rather tough words, Khalifa could only nod helplessly. It seems that I can only secretly follow, is it because of Frankie? Khalifa secretly thought to herself that with CP9's ability, it would not be difficult to find out the relationship between Bingshan and Frankie, that is, Bingshan did not know the true identities of these people. Khalifa can't directly show that she knows about the relationship between Iceberg and Frankie, and the best thing to do now is to secretly follow her. Then let's go, Mr. Luffy, after all, it's really not early. Iceberg made a gesture of please, motioning for Luffy to lead the way, while glancing at Frankie. Seeing that the other party also meant to follow, he also confirmed in his heart that Luffy did know about himself and Frankie. Hey, Luffy, what the hell is going on, why do you always say that if they go to the Mary, they will agree to help us build a ship? On the way back to the Mary, Usopp finally couldn't help but ask, otherwise, this feeling of holding back in his heart was too uncomfortable. Isn't that coming soon? You'll find out later. Luffy is still selling Guanzi, this kind of thing can't be explained by words, and they may not believe it, so let them see it with their own eyes. I'm suddenly curious about what Mr. Luffy is talking about. Seeing that Luffy didn't even tell his crew, 
The iceberg that originally promised Luffy just because he didn't think of the conflict suddenly became interested. Really, let such a super Uncle Frankie follow you silently all the way, if what you show me can't satisfy me, I won't accompany you. Along the way, neither Luffy nor Iceberg spoke, which made Frankie very uncomfortable. Now someone finally spoke, but Luffy was still selling off, which made Frankie even more uncomfortable. Along the way, the reason why Luffy didn't speak was just because he sensed that someone was following him. It was Khalifa who was following him just now, and now was not the time to do it, otherwise, the new ship of himself and the others was probably not completed yet, and he would have to be forced to run away. However, because of the distance, although Nami and Usopp have also awakened to see and hear the domineering, they don't perceive it. This is also the reason why Luffy didn't speak along the way, although there are no secrets, but it feels very uncomfortable to be followed and eavesdropped. I don't know if she can hear it from this distance. Because they were only in a hurry, the group quickly returned to the shore where the Mary docked. When Luffy and the others arrived, the rest of the Mary was already waiting on the shore. Just when Luffy and the others arrived, Luffy found that the people behind him had quietly left. It seems that it was just to confirm the safety of the iceberg, and now that he knows the location of himself and the others, he doesn't see the meaning of his people. So just retreated. It's really cautious, but what's the point, don't they have knowledge about domineering? Or do you think that in the first half of this great voyage, no one will use domineering? Luffy. Who are these two? Luffy and the three of them had just returned to the shore where the Mary was located with Frankie and Iceberg, and everyone who had already returned gathered around. And Sauron, who heard the movement on the Mary, also jumped off the deck. Luffy glanced at everyone, well, no one was lost, and Robin was back. It seems that the strength she showed in front of her made her choose to believe in herself. This saves a lot of trouble and gives Frankie and Iceberg enough time to build a new ship. These two are French and Mr. Iceberg, the master shipbuilders who have come to build us new ships. Hey, boy, I haven't promised you yet, you said let's see your ship, is this it? As soon as Luffy finished speaking, Frankie jumped out to refute, and at the same time, his eyes were already on the Mary docked on the shore. There's nothing special about this ship, just one glance, Frankie looked disappointed. He thought Luffy had asked them to see the ship that was any different, and was it just an ordinary brig? Although the iceberg on the side did not speak, he basically agreed with Frankie's words. As an experienced shipbuilding master, whether a ship is good or not, whether there is anything special, just look at it, you can judge a rough idea. And the small brig in front of you, even if the structure is just an old-fashioned, caravel, there is nothing special about it. Hey, is this guy really a master shipbuilder? Frankie's tone obviously angered Sanji and the others and the man at the head of the plane not only wore a pair of briefs on his lower body, but also spoke so politely. Mr. Iceberg thinks so too, right? Luffy didn't care about Frankie's tone, he just turned his head to the iceberg and asked what he thought. Frankie is right, there is nothing special about this ship. Whether it's himself or Frankie, this point of looking at the ship is still there. If that's all there is to it, Iceberg doesn't think Luffy will be able to help him build a new ship. You too. No matter how ordinary the Mary is, he has carried us here from the East China Sea, but you can't tell you. Although Luffy called the people, they still made Sanji and Usopp quite angry because they despised the Mary so much. And they were right. Luffy calmly stopped Sanji and Usopp, who wanted to continue talking. If that's all there is to this ship, with all due respect, Mr. Luffy, that won't impress me to build for you. Iceberg followed Luffy here to take a look out of curiosity thinking that there would be some special ship that could only make him tempted, but he didn't expect it to be just such an ordinary ship. To be honest, the iceberg was still a little disappointed, but there was no sense of anger, after all, the ship that wanted to make himself and Frankie's eyes shine can be said to be basically no longer on this sea. The Mary is really just an ordinary brig. Luffy's words continued, however, Luffy's eyes looked in the direction where the Mary was. Mary, come out and meet everyone. Luffy's words made everyone present a little confused, so you must know that except for Bingshan and Frankie, they are all domineering existences that have awakened to see and hear. But even so, no one was aware of the existence of the others. But, listening to Luffy, it seems that there are other people here, and, Mary? Could it be that Miss Kia's butler is here? 
everyone followed Luffy's line of sight, and Frankie and Iceberg also looked in that direction curiously. Could it be that the person Luffy called out now is the reason why Luffy is sure to impress himself? As it turned out, the two of them were right in their guesses, and the first time they saw the figures that appeared, Frankie and Iceberg were already stunned. That, well, everyone, the illusory figure suddenly appeared on the deck of the Mary. Although he couldn't see the specific face clearly, the words that came out made people understand at once that the person who said it was very shy at this time. However, no one present could speak, let alone notice his tone. Road. Luffy, I didn't do anything wrong, did I? Why is everyone like this? Although I know that my appearance will definitely surprise everyone, there is no need to exaggerate so much. Mary floated to Luffy's side at a bit of a loss and looked at Luffy nervously. It's. Boat spirit. The first thing to react was the iceberg, but from his trembling words, it could be heard that he was not at peace at this time. The ship spirit really exists. Even with Frankie's character, he couldn't help but sigh at this time. As a master shipbuilder who loves ships, no one can remain indifferent when they see the spirit of a ship. Unless, he's not really in love. Everyone just can't accept it for a while, it's okay, it's good to get familiar with it in the future. Although he couldn't see Mary's face, Luffy could still feel his fear, which was a fear that his friends wouldn't be able to accept him. But, well, is it really Mary? Usopp on Luffy's other side came back from the shock and looked at the illusory figure that appeared in front of him with an incredulous expression. He reached out and wanted to touch it, but Mary was an illusory elf, and no one could touch him when he didn't want to. So, Usopp's hand passed through Mary's body at once. You. Hello. Usopp. Still nervous, Melly politely greeted Usopp. Is it really Mary? But, this. What's going on? When Melly and Usopp greeted each other, the others also came back to their senses and looked at Melly incredulously. How, Frankie, Mr. Iceberg, are you interested in helping me build a new ship? Luffy looked at the two of them, still with incredible looks. If you're going to build a new ship, do you want to abandon the old ship that has already given birth to ship spirits? In Bingshan's opinion, once Luffy and the others abandon this old ship, the ship spirit born because of them in front of them may soon disappear. But if they were such people, how could this ship give birth to ship spirits? Hey, Luffy, is what he said true? Are you really going to give up on the Mary? It was the first time they met, but Usopp felt that he was already very familiar with the Melly in front of him. If Luffy really gave up on Mary, does it mean that Luffy left his partner? This kind of thing. This kind of thing. So, I have a devil fruit for this. Devil fruits? The moment they saw the ship spirit, Iceberg and Frankie already had plans to agree to Luffy. However, as master shipbuilders, they can't just watch Luffy give up on the ship's spirit. So, when Luffy said that he had prepared the devil fruit, the two of them were very curious. What exactly is Luffy going to do so that he can use the new ship to sail while preserving the spirit of the old ship? The key point is that even if you want two ships to sail at the same time, with the current situation of this ship, it will not be long left. Even if Luffy had protected them well before, the ship did not receive major damage. But with the material of this ship, it will undoubtedly be very dangerous to continue sailing on the Great Route. That's right, Devil Fruit, Luffy said, looking at Frankie, a smile on the corner of his mouth. Hey, boy, look at what I'm doing, if there's a Devil Fruit, you can let your buddy eat it, and then settle the matter so we can build you a new ship. Frankie, who was furious at Luffy, couldn't stand this feeling and immediately screamed. As my future shipwright, this fruit is specially reserved for you to eat. Huh? Hearing Luffy's words, Iceberg was shocked, if he understood correctly, this man knew about Frankie from the beginning. There was even a devil fruit for Frankie. How much hard does this man have to prepare a valuable devil fruit for a person who is not sure that he will be able to get on the boat? Moreover, looking at Frankie's appearance, it is obviously the same as the first day I met this man. When they met for the first time, he dared to directly say that he would give the devil fruit to Frankie to eat, where did he get his confidence? Hey, little ghost, don't be kidding, Lao Tzu won't be on your ship, so you better find your crew to eat this devil fruit. Frankie didn't come out of Iceberg's surprise when he said this, even though he usually looked like a gangster. There is no shortage of robbing pirates' treasures, and he shows that he is an out-and-out -out bastard. 
But if it's about ships, Frankie is a different story. Swallowing fruit is the ability to synthesize what you eat, resulting in the creation of new substances. Frankie's refusal was also expected by Luffy. After all, the two had only met for the first time, and they had not experienced the plots in the original book, so it was naturally impossible for Frankie to agree immediately. As a reformer, you should understand the meaning of this fruit, right? The synthesis of new substances is undoubtedly a great attraction for Frankie. Synthesizing a new substance? Sure enough, this ability still intrigued Frankie. For example, some metal materials that have a theoretical foundation but have never been able to break through, if you have this knowledge, it should be easier to rely on this fruit to complete. In the original book, Valpo was able to meet a blind cat and a dead mouse to synthesize Valpo metal, which shows that the raw material of this metal exists in the pirate world. So, in the hands of Frankie, who has a certain theoretical basis, can swallowing fruit go further? Faced with these things proposed by Luffy, Frankie was indeed moved, but it was impossible to say that he would agree to Luffy because of this. Those little brothers of their own, but they still need to take care of themselves. Although what you say is tempting, I will not agree to you. Hey, Luffy, can you explain the current situation to us? Just as Luffy and Frankie were talking, everyone who had been in a state of shock since Mary's appearance just now also came to their senses. But at the same time, they are still in a state of fog, and the Mary has produced a ship spirit. But what is a ship spirit? Luffy wants to invite this pervert who looks down on the Mary and only wears briefs to come on board. What are these things? Moreover, that swallowing fruit is prepared for this pervert in front of you. Everything happened so suddenly that everyone couldn't digest it for a while. It always feels like a fairy tale, after all, even such a thing as a ship elf has appeared. Frankie is the shipwright I'm going to invite aboard, and Mary is the spirit of the Mary, who was born not long ago. Not so long ago? So Luffy, you always knew about Mary's existence? Luffy's words instantly caught everyone's attention. Why did Luffy know about Mary's existence in advance, and if Luffy hadn't called Melly out today, he might not even have known about Mary's existence all along. That, that's what I asked Luffy not to tell you about yet. The illusory raincoat elf spoke, and the ethereal voice reached everyone's ears again. Because I'm not sure if I can always follow you on adventures, I simply won't meet you, so I don't need to say goodbye. Hearing what Melly said, Iceberg and Frankie's pupils contracted at the same time. Although he knows that only when the crew is very close to the ship, it is possible to give birth to the ship spirit. But I didn't expect that the ship spirit in front of me would actually consider the feelings of the crew so much. If Luffy hadn't said there was a way to solve my problem, maybe I would have come out to see you when the Mary reached the last minute. Mary. Don't be so sentimental, I'm sure swallowing fruit will indeed solve Mary's problem, so. Luffy didn't finish his sentence, just stared straight at Frankie. And Melly also turned his head to Frankie, although he couldn't see his facial features clearly, he could feel that Mary was looking at him at this time. That's a. Iceberg looked at this scene incredulously, did the ship spirit really want to continue sailing with this group of people? Really, can't I swim from now on? Frankie scratched the back of his head, and although he didn't explicitly agree to go to his own boat, the meaning of his words was that he was willing to eat the swallowing fruit. Zoro, go and get the swallowing fruit. Now that Frankie has promised to eat the swallowing fruit, it is natural that it will not be too late. If you eat the swallow fruit earlier, you will be able to become familiar with the power of the swallow fruit earlier. In addition, when building a new ship, it may be possible to use a new type of metal. With Frankie's knowledge of this, this kind of thing is not impossible. Got it. Sauron said yes and returned to the Mary. When he came down again, he already had a strange fruit in his hand. Now that he had promised Luffy, Frankie was also unceremonious, took the swallowing fruit from Zoro's hand, and swallowed it directly in one bite. Bah, bah, bah. Why is this devil fruit so unpalatable? If you swallow the fruit's basic ability, before the new ship is built, it should be enough for you to be familiar with, right? Watching Frankie eat the swallowed fruit, Luffy finally showed a satisfied expression. Now that he has eaten the swallowing fruit, with Frankie's character, it is basically no problem to invite him on the boat. However, this matter will wait until the new ship is built, and now, there is still a problem to be solved. So, what should be done with the Mary, in your opinion? 
According to Luffy's original idea, there are two ways, one is to merge the Mary with the new ship. The other is to make the annex structure of a new ship like the Mini Mary in the original book. However, both methods require the ability to swallow the fruit. Also, one thing that is uncertain is whether the Mary, which eats the devil fruit, will affect the new ship if it fuses with the new ship. If there is an impact, this approach will not work. On the other hand, the Mini Mary can basically only be used as an ornament. By the way, I'm going to give Mary a devil fruit, so the Mary shouldn't be able to go into the water in the future. Luffy's words directly stunned Frankie and Iceberg. Are you wholesale devil fruits? I just took out a devil fruit and gave it to Frankie, whom I just met. Now you're saying you're going to give the Mary's ship spirit a devil fruit? Let's not talk about whether the scriptures can be read devil fruits, did your devil fruits fall from the sky? Of course, Luffy didn't know what they were thinking, but even if he did, Luffy could only say that they were right. Along the way, Luffy killed a total of three devil fruit abilities, however, all three devil fruits were reborn nearby. Isn't this something that fell from the sky? Maybe this is the chosen one? If that's the case, we can make the Mary into a weapon. Although surprised that Luffy actually had so many devil fruits, Frankie quickly answered Luffy's question. The moment he eats the swallow fruit, he understands the basic ability to swallow the swallow fruit. After Luffy raised the question, Frankie quickly came up with a plan. Originally, Frankie had the idea of building a new ship, and the design of the ship, Frankie had already drawn it. It's just that there hasn't been a suitable person, and it's worth Frankie to turn that design into a real thing. Now, the person who can awaken the ship's spirit has appeared, and Frankie feels that the ship he designed will be available this time. Moreover, the other party still has enough Bailey to buy the treasure tree Adam, as well as this swallowing fruit. In this case, the original design may be able to make some changes. At least in terms of materials, in addition to Adam tree, there may be a replacement for the original steel. Because of the need to modify the body, Frankie has a knowledge of all kinds of materials. Among them, the memory metal theory proposed by Vegapunk, who is known as 500 years ahead of human intelligence, is naturally known to Frankie. Now, I have the ability to swallow fruits, as well as the theoretical knowledge I already have. Frankie was sure that he would craft that metal and use it on the new ship that was about to be launched. In the design of this new vessel, the shipyard system consists of several modules. Under normal circumstances, Frankie had planned to make the small shopping boat look like the old ship of the new owner. But now that Luffy is going to let Mary eat the devil fruit, he naturally can't make it into a shopping ship. However, the problem is not big, the dock system of the new ship naturally has modules related to land warfare, and when the time comes, it will be good to replace the relevant modules that were originally prepared. Weapons? Luffy rubbed his chin. In the original plot, Although there are not many opportunities for the sunshine to use shelling, the robots invented by Frankie two years later are really good. If Frankie could have made a new ship before, he would have synthesized the original Valpo alloy, no, it can't be called Valpo now, maybe it should be called Frankie. Combining the Mary with this alloy would indeed replace the original robots. Yes, that way, it won't make the Mary a complete ornament. Hey, I said, Luffy, what the hell are you talking about? Usopp, who was baffled by Luffy's conversation with Frankie, couldn't help but ask. The conversation between the two men was based on an understanding of the memory alloy and the design of Frankie's new ship. So even if it's an iceberg, it's a bit foggy at this time, let alone other people. As for how to solve the problem of the Mary, you will know when the new ship is built. Luffy sold a pass, instead of wasting his tongue explaining now, it is better to observe it intuitively when the time comes. Well, then, I'll leave the matter of the new ship to you, Frankie, Mr. Iceberg. HMPH, I only agreed to help you build a new ship for the sake of the ship's spirit and the ability of this fruit swallowing fruit. Frankie clasped his hands to his chest, and although he was very excited about the imminent release of his design, his face was completely different. I see, in return for letting me see the existence of the ship spirit, I will give you a satisfactory answer. Iceberg nodded earnestly. As a shipbuilding master, it is really a very lucky thing to be able to meet the existence of the ship spirit in my lifetime. In that case, I'll give you another piece of news. Just as Iceberg and Frankie were about to go back, Luffy suddenly spoke. 
What does Mr. Luffy mean by the news? Stopping to leave, Iceberg and Frankie turn around. There are many of those people around you, and they are all agents of the world government. Iceberg's pupils shrank suddenly, and his eyes were staring at Luffy tightly, as if he wanted to tell from Luffy's face whether he was joking or not. With agents of the world government by his side, it is natural to know what this means. Iceberg didn't see any joking in Luffy's face, and he didn't think Luffy would joke with himself about such a thing. So, if Luffy is telling the truth, have they gotten the news they want? The Iceberg glanced at Frankie without a trace, the design of Hades, but it was on Frankie's side. So, Mr. Luffy, do you know who they are? Even if you know who it is, what can you do? The other party is an agent of CP9, but you can't deal with it, so it's better to pretend that you don't know and do the same as usual. Khalifa, you'll take care of the documents for me for a while in the future. Back at the mayor's office, Iceberg threw all the events of the next few days to Khalifa. Although Luffy said that many people around him are agents of the world government, this does not prevent Khalifa's ability to be really good. Even if Khalifa is also an agent of CP9, it is not a big deal to leave this kind of thing to her. Even, because of his excellent ability, he may be able to handle these documents even better than himself. Their purpose is nothing more than the design of the ancient weapon, the Hades, but now the design of the Hades has been burned by Frankie in front of him. Even if they find something in the end, they don't have to worry about Hades being obtained by them. In fact, it should have been done a long time ago, but it was only because this drawing was handed down by Tom that he was reluctant to destroy it. But now, since this drawing has attracted the covetousness of the world government, there is no need to keep it anymore. Mr. Mayor, are you really going to help those pirates build a pirate ship? Holding a part of the documents in her arms, Khalifa pushed her glasses and asked with a cold face. However, because the iceberg was not in the direction of Khalifa, I did not see anything unusual about Khalifa. Khalifa, you, will it help me? Iceberg still didn't look sideways at Khalifa, but answered the question that wasn't what he asked. Of course, Mr. Mayor. Khalifa was silent for a moment, then replied. There is no news of the design drawings yet, and it is not the time to turn the other cheeks. Is that so? Since it's just shipbuilding, then don't worry about it, and still focus on the task. Bruno's bar, at this time, in addition to the owner Bruno, there are only Khalifa, who is the mayor's secretary, and Rob Lucci, who is the shipyard boatman. After listening to Khalifa's report, Rob Lucci pondered for a moment and asked Khalifa to do what the iceberg said. The order given from above is the blueprint of the ancient weapon, Hades. As for what the iceberg is for, whether it is for pirates or the navy, it is not within the scope of the task to build ships. Prioritizing tasks is what CP9 should do, understood. Well, is Mary really a ship spirit? On the Mary, everyone was still surrounded by the ship's spirit Mary, who was amazed. After all, for everyone, the existence of the ship spirit is the first time they have even heard of it, let alone actually seen it. However, Melly, who was surrounded by everyone, looked a little at a loss. If it weren't for the fact that he had to live with everyone like this in the future, Mary would have been hiding a long time ago. Well, if you surround Mary like this again, he's going to be frightened by you. Luffy couldn't stand it anymore, he had been around Mary for almost an hour, why was he still asking Mary if he was a ship spirit? You have this time, why don't you think about what you need for a new ship, and tell Frankie tomorrow what he thinks, and let him see if he can improve it, or else when Adam Tree buys it back, construction will begin. The money for the purchase of Treasure Tree Adam, Luffy has already given it to Frankie, giving him a total of 1 billion Bailey. Luffy hopes that the materials of the new ship will be made of Adam Tree, except for the steel part. However, the number of Treasure Tree Adam is scarce, and I don't know if I can buy so many. However, judging from the current situation, Luffy and the others are not in a hurry. It's a good time to relax and visit this famous maritime city. In the afternoon of this day, the crowd only visited a small part. However, Mary was not so lucky, it seems that because of the ship's spirit, Mary could not get too far away from the Merle itself. But it doesn't matter, when the time comes, eat the thunderfruit, even if it can't be too far away from the main body of the Mary, Mary can help everyone. Luffy asks Marianu to see if she can help Melly awaken her domineering. As a ship spirit, Mary is indeed able to master the domineering of seeing and hearing, but because of the lack of a physical body, 
it seems that the armed domineering cannot be mastered. But it's still the same, with the Thunderfruit, armed color domineering is a dispensable thing for Mary. After all, it is as strong as the three major generals, and it is rarely armed to fight domineeringly. The powerful fruit ability is enough for them to take out most enemies just by relying on the fruit. Moreover, in this way, the responsibility of watching the ship in the future will naturally fall on the head of Mary, which can be regarded as liberating the combat power of Sauron. However, Luffy's original idea of relying on the Thunderfruit to chase the reborn Devil Fruit could not be realized. However, it may not have to be a Thunderfruit. Ah, then I want a utility room. I. I want a medical room. Hearing Luffy's words, the first people to exclaim were still Usopp and Chopper. Since it was to meet a new partner, it was naturally impossible for Chopper to continue to nest in the medical room. You can figure it out for yourselves, and just tell Frankie tomorrow when you see him. Although the two of them didn't talk about it, there would be no shortage of utility rooms and medical rooms, but Luffy still let them talk to Frankie by themselves. After all, it is best to design according to your own habits. Then, after the new ship is built, the Thunderfruit will be eaten by the Mary, you should be okay, right? Luffy told his plan, but it was in vain to ask, and if the others wanted to eat, they had already mentioned it before. Why wait until this time to displease someone? Just as Luffy thought, everyone had no problem with Luffy giving the Thunderfruit to Mary to eat. Well, then, let's have a good night's rest today, and spend the next few days in the capital of the Seven Waters, and when the new ship is built, we may have a battle to fight. Luffy's words made everyone stunned. What is the situation? Not only do you know all kinds of secrets now, but you can even predict the future? Of course, everyone just secretly complained that they hadn't forgotten what Luffy had just said about the agents of the world government. This will probably be the first time they have been enemies of a world government. At that time, even the few people on the ship who have not yet been rewarded will completely enter the sight of the world government. And when that time comes, the Straw Hat Pirates, Luffy is no longer the only one, but everyone in the Straw Hat Pirates, and there is no turning back. However, no one cares about these things. Since you have chosen to stay on this ship, then, until Luffy disbands the Straw Hat Pirates, everyone will not go anywhere. I've been used to sailing at sea for a while, and it's really a bit unaccustomed to suddenly having to move on land. After resting on the Mary for one night, everyone who set foot on the capital of Seven Waters again sighed. But the capital of the Seven Waters is a water city, and it is not all land. Although you are walking on the ground, as far as the eye can see, the main roads are all waterways. Today, it's still free to move, if there's anything you want to see and play, just take advantage of the past few days to have enough fun. I've always been on the sea, and although there are a lot of people on board, there's really not much to play. It's rare to have such an opportunity, and Luffy won't stop them. It was Sanji and Chopper who stayed to watch the ship today, and it was supposed to be just Sanji who stayed. With Mary's presence, even if he doesn't sleep whenever he has time like Zoro, he won't be alone. But Chopper chose to stay because he wanted to continue his research, and said that he would not be out for the next few days. Agent of the World Government of the Capital of the Seven Waters, Robin, you will follow me today. With those people's intelligence abilities, the news of Robin's presence here must have reached the ears of that stupid spandom. Seeing and hearing the domineering perception of the situation in the capital of Seven Waters, there are indeed some people wearing masks and white clothes who are active. Although it is now the mask carnival of the city of Seven Waters. But several people wore the same masks and costumes, and Luffy still recognized the identity of these people at a glance as CP9. Yes, Mr. Captain. For Luffy's proposal, Robin did not refuse, but agreed with a charming smile. Ever since Luffy was able to retreat under the pheasant, Robin had stopped thinking about leaving alone. Moreover, with Luffy's prophetic ability, perhaps, the idea of wanting to leave before has never been hidden from him. Are you going to follow us, or are you going to go shopping on your own? Luffy looked at the other people again, although there were more people, the target was bigger, but it also meant that the other party couldn't do it easily. Moreover, even if the target is big, Luffy is not afraid of the other party at all, unless the world government sends more than two people with the strength of the general. These CP9s alone are not enough to see. Even Rob Lucci, the strongest person known as CP9 in the past 800 years, is vulnerable in front of the current Luffy. 
I'm not going to follow you. I'm going to look around this island to see if there are any great swordsmen. Sauron wants to challenge him as always, but he may be disappointed, there is no opponent on this island who can make him happy. But Luffy didn't say it, so let him go shopping by himself, as long as he didn't get lost. Then I'll go with Sauron, lest this guy get lost and find his way back to the Mary. During this time, Zoro's road idiot attribute has been known to everyone, so Gardino did not miss the opportunity to start taunting. What are you talking about? Choked by Gardino, Zoro's originally calm expression immediately became angry. Then he walked away in a certain direction without looking back. Seeing this, Gartino followed at the same time, and if he didn't, God knows if he would be able to get back to the Mary before dark. I'll go with them, too. Usopp greeted and ran in the direction Zoro had left. Let's go shopping with a few girls, with Kinesa's sluggish fruit, no one can hurt us, and besides, we don't have a bounty. Nami doesn't seem to want to follow Luffy to the City of Seven Waters today. Instead, Marianu was pulled along, Konus and Makita, and Silky the Cloud Fox left together. Then it's just the two of us, Mr. Captain. Robin glanced at Luffy meaningfully and said pointedly. Luffy glanced at Robin speechlessly, and then walked up first. Seeing that Luffy didn't speak, Robin chuckled and followed Luffy at the same time. Since joining the Straw Hat Pirates, this is the first time the two have been alone together. But it didn't take long for Luffy to feel like he was being targeted. When I opened it, I saw and heard that I was domineering, and sure enough, I found that in a corner not far behind me, there was a person in a white mask watching here. Being targeted so quickly, it seems that you are really a sweetheart. Luffy didn't care about the people watching behind him at all, and made a rare joke. Hearing Luffy's words, Robin also opened up at the same time to see and hear domineering. Although the range is not as outrageous as Luffy's, after a few days of familiarization, it is enough to envelop a small area. The figure behind him is not too far away, maybe because of the mask carnival, I think Luffy and these people will not pay attention to him. However, this kind of aura with malice, and the aura is not weak, which is too conspicuous in the eyes of those who have seen and heard the domineering. Is it CP9? Robin, who also sensed it, turned his head to look at Luffy. Although he was targeted again, this time, Robin did not have any fear or anxiety. It's because of this man's side, this kind of spontaneous sense of security is really good. It's them, but if they don't make a move, we won't have to worry about him, the new ship hasn't started construction yet, and it's not suitable to provoke the world government for the time being. The meaning of Luffy's words, Robin naturally heard it. For the time being, that is, as soon as the new ship is built, will it be done to these people? However, Luffy would like to see if Iceberg will let Rob Lucci and the others help build their new ship. It would be fun if the icebergs were really built together. The agents of the world government must be very interesting to help the pirate group of the Demon Sons build pirate ships, right? As for whether they will wreak havoc while they are making it, there are two master shipbuilders, Frankie and Iceberg, and if they do it, they will be discovered immediately. When the time comes, the iceberg will naturally be able to discover that those people are agents of the world government. But it doesn't matter if they find out or not, anyway, as long as they choose to do it, Luffy will definitely not let them go. When the new ship starts, Luffy will also choose to watch from the sidelines, anyway, when the time comes, everything that should be visited will be visited, so it is better to see if there is anything that can be improved. Of course, if there is an emergency, it will have to be handed over to the iceberg of Francia. In the current situation, will there still be the Battle of Justice Island in the Demon Slaying Order? Luffy is curious, this can be regarded as a big event, but I don't know if the plot will develop in the original direction. Ignoring the CP9 members following behind them, Luffy and Robin wandered around. Since he was rewarded by the world government at the age of eight, this is the first time Robin has visited a city in a relaxed way. Although there are still people hidden in the shadows behind him, on the other hand, this time by his side, Luffy is also accompanied. Such a scene, Robin thought that he would never have the opportunity to feel it again in his life. Whether it's a pheasant or a CP9, Robin doesn't want to pay attention to it at all. She just wanted to take this opportunity to take a good look at this war city with Luffy. The CP9 personnel behind him didn't seem to have any intention of making a move, but after observing for a while, they left. 
I don't know if I didn't receive the task, or because I didn't want to make a fuss because I had other tasks. However, none of this has anything to do with Luffy and Robin. The two of them wandered around, and at some point, they each had an extra special product of the capital of Seven Waters Water Meat. Would you like to try a ride on the special vehicle here? The two of them have been wandering around this area all the time, and if they want to get to the next area, they have to take the special transportation of the capital of Seven Waters near you. Okay. It seems that the depression that has been in place has been released, and Robin behaves like a little girl, showing a strong interest in anything new. The two rented a two-seater cowfish from a nearby merchant and sat on it together. By the time the two of them returned the fish again, it was already time for the sun to set. Damn, Luffy, you actually played with Miss Robin for a day. As soon as he returned to the Mary, Sanji's roar was heard. The others had already returned, and Sanji naturally learned about Luffy and Robin's visit. At this time, Sanji's eyes were once again filled with envy and jealousy. Hey, Kappa, is dinner ready? I'm hungry. Zoro's voice sounded just in time, and then, like two magnetic poles of the opposite sex, the two of them were drawn to each other again. Thank you, Luffy, I had a great time today. On the way to the kitchen, Robin turned his head sideways and said to Luffy. Luffy was slightly stunned, then shook his head and smiled, even this kind of thing needs to be thanked, it seems that Robin has really had a hard time before. In this way, the first three days of the Straw Hats arriving in the capital of the Seven Waters were spent in play. On the fourth day, Adam, the treasure tree that Frankie had purchased on the black market, arrived. It cost Luffy 800 million Bailey, compared to the original book, which only cost 200 million Bailey, and the treasure tree Adam obtained this time is undoubtedly a lot more. While it is still not possible to use the entire ship, it is still possible to use the vast majority of the ship. And the rest of the parts are inconsequential. At the same time, after just three days of pondering, Frankie actually synthesized the kind of memory alloy in the original book. In this way, part of the structure of the new ship will also be made of this new type of metal. In the past few days, in addition to the ability to tinker with fruits, Frankie has also discussed a lot with Iceberg about the design of the new ship. In addition to some requests from the Straw Hats, Frankie's original blueprints have been improved a lot, and they will also be more suitable for the Straw Hats. In the past few days, the people of CP9 have not taken action to catch Robin, even if it is an iceberg, they have not made a move. I guess I haven't found any news about the blueprints of Hades. However, even if they now knew about the relationship between Iceberg and Frankie, and knew that Iceberg had handed over the blueprints of Hades to Frankie, it would be too late. On the first day Luffy finds Frankie and Iceberg, the two decide to burn the Hades blueprints. Now, the world government is left with only a handful of ashes. Of course, if they can capture Frankie and steal the memories in Frankie's mind, they can also obtain the manufacturing method of the ancient weapon Hades. But, is this possible? If they can find the relevant information before Luffy arrives, they might be able to succeed. But now, with Luffy's existence, it is basically impossible for them to capture Frankie. Unless the world government can get the navy to send more than two admirals. But this is obviously impossible, and the world government and navy are not really of one mind. Perhaps, the navy is unaware of the fact that the world government is searching for the blueprints of the Hades. Now that Adam has arrived, and the new metal has been crafted, can you give me an approximate time for the completion of a new ship? The shipyard is the number one dock of Carrera's company, and unlike the original book, the current Luffy does not need to be secretly manufactured at all. Carrera doesn't just help the Straw Hat pirates build ships, other pirates can build ships here. Now, Luffy and the others have not provoked the world government, and CP9 has no intention of being exposed for the time being. Therefore, the site of shipbuilding, naturally chosen in this well-equipped dock. If it were a normal situation, a ship of that size, and it was made from Adam Treasure Tree, would take about one month at the earliest. Frankie paused, then continued, but the swallowing fruit you gave me can greatly reduce this time. The most time-consuming part of making a ship with Treasure Tree Adam is nothing more than processing Treasure Tree Adam. As the strongest tree in the world, it is undoubtedly very difficult to process it. But the presence of the swallowing fruit makes this step very simple. As long as he swallows Adam the tree, Frankie will be able to transform the swallowed Adam tree into the desired shape. 
Compared with using tools to process Baoshu Adam, it is undoubtedly more convenient. As for why the swallowing fruit still has the ability to shape, since it can synthesize materials, it is naturally not difficult to change the shape of the swallowed material. In about a week, your new ship will be ready, so, in three days, you'll have to bring the Mary over, and I'll craft the Mary. Frankie didn't mean to let anyone other than the iceberg interfere in building the ship. Perhaps the craftsmanship of the people at Dockyard 1 is good, but this ship is made of Adam the treasure tree and new metal materials. Also, there are some techniques involved in the blueprints of Hades, and Frankie doesn't trust them. Even if it was his own little brother, Frankie had no intention of letting them help. This is a kind of protection for them, if they interfere in the production of this ship, once the technology is exposed, they may be targeted by the people of the world government. As for the iceberg, at least on the surface, he is still the mayor of the capital of Seven Waters, and it is impossible for the world government to directly do it against him. Hey, Mary, is it really okay? Watching Frankie swallow the Mary bit by bit, Usopp looked nervously at Melly, fearing that Mary would suddenly disappear. Don't worry, I didn't feel any discomfort. The illusory raincoat ship spirit sensed everyone's concern and replied softly. Although I am a ship spirit, everyone really regards me as a partner. At this moment, Melly suddenly felt that it was really good that he could be their ship. Hiccup. Phew, you're full. Thank you for your hospitality. After swallowing the whole Mary, Frankie suddenly burped, and then patted his stomach as if it were really a big meal. Ah, Frankie's movements immediately caused Usopp and Chopper to exclaim, one by one, one by one, by the collar, and the other jumped directly on top of Frankie's head. You too, don't be too nervous, isn't it okay for Melly? Zoro looked at the two of them speechlessly, this person is too innocent, can't he even see a joke? Ha ha ha. You two are really interesting, how about it, do you want to be my little brother of super? Seeing that his jokes can really deceive people, Frankie can't help but be happy, this person is so interesting. Oh, yes, Mary is still here, so you're lying to us, bastard. The one person and one deer who stopped making noise saw that Mary was fine now, so the relieved one person and one deer turned around and continued to scold Frankie. Seeing that Usopp and Chopper are scolding Frankie like this now, Luffy feels that the two of them will soon be really fragrant. I'm going to start renovating the Mary, little Mary, if there's anything wrong, you must call it out in time. Stopping the fight with Usopp and Chopper, Frankie took a serious look at the little boat spirit in front of him in a raincoat and reminded him. Well, I don't want to be separated from everyone, so if something is wrong, I'll speak up in time. Melly also replied seriously originally thinking that his end might be the capital of Seven Waters. However, I didn't expect Luffy to really have a way to keep himself following them. At this moment, Melly felt that it was a very happy thing to be Luffy's ship. Seeing Melly nodding, Frankie no longer hesitated and began to use his ability to devour fruits. The crowd looked at Mary nervously again, praying that Mary would never have an accident. This time, Mary did not have the embarrassment when he was watched before and now he only had a feeling of peace of mind and happiness lingering in his heart. Luffy looked at Frankie thoughtfully, regarding some of the ability applications of the swallowing fruit, Luffy remembered that he had seen some special uses on the internet in his previous life. When the new ship is built, maybe Frankie can give it a try, and if it really works, it may not need to be so troublesome in the future. Frankie's mouth kept chewing, but the crowd couldn't see what was in his mouth. Could it be that like the sluggish fruit, this fruit swallowing ability must have such an action to be activated? However, people will not have the heart to pay attention to those irrelevant things, and at this time, it is the most critical time. Everyone's eyes were fixed on Mary, for fear that Mary would have some accident. However, as Frankie continued to chew, Melly did not show any discomfort, nor did she suddenly disappear in front of everyone. Eventually, Frankie's chewing action stopped, and his mouth, modified by the devouring fruit, opened wide. It wasn't until the open mouth was two turns bigger than Frankie's whole body that the mouth stopped and continued to grow. Then, something was spat out of Frankie's gaping mouth. It's a tank-like machine with a metallic sheen all over it. The total length of this machine is only more than two meters, the width is not wide, and the color of the whole body, in addition to the metallic luster, gives everyone a very familiar feeling. It is the original color matching of the Mary, and the muzzle of this tank, 
machine is the sheep's head of the original Mary. It's just that the situation has become horizontal from the upright of the Mary, and the sheep's head is now more angular than the previous roundness. Good, good, so handsome, this, is this the new Mary? Looking at the metallic, angular tank shaped machine in front of them, Usopp and Chopper decisively forgot about the situation they had just been tricked into. His eyes lit up as he pounced on the newborn Mary, touching it here, looking at it there, looking so happy. It's amazing, a thing like a devil fruit, can you still do this? Nami once again has a new understanding of the devil fruit's abilities, and at the same time, she is even more looking forward to the devil fruit that Luffy has found for herself. Mary Chariot Number 1, here, Frankie returned to his normal form, waving his hands toward the newborn Mary like a gentleman. Of course, his lower body, which is still only wearing a pair of briefs, does make him feel like a gentleman, in another sense. It seems that my guess is correct, as long as the materials of the Mary are not discarded, this transformation of the devouring fruit will not cause any harm to Mary. Huh? Frankie's words immediately caught everyone's attention? That said, before this, you're not sure if you're going to hurt Melly? Nami's eyes narrowed, and she asked in a gloomy voice. Isn't that a matter of course? It's also the first time I've used the swallow fruit for this kind of transformation, and it's possible to see what the result will be. Frankie didn't notice the ever-changing look in everyone's eyes, and replied as a matter of course. You bastard, what if Mary disappears because of this? Bang! Nami unceremoniously punches Frankie in the head. Hey, you stinky woman, don't mess with my hair, HMPH, as a boatman. I cherish the presence of the ship's spirit more than you. But so what, this thing has to be done. The existence of the ship's spirit depends on the crew who gave birth to him, and once the ship does not carry the crew who gave birth to the ship's spirit for a long time, the ship's spirit will still die out on its own. Are you still going to sail on a ship that can no longer bear the great seas? In that case, once the ship sinks in the middle of the voyage, do you want your companions to bear the pain of killing their own companions? You know, the mission of the ship is to sail the crew from this port to the next port. Melly will be. Because he is away from everyone disappear? Luffy doesn't know much about this either, but I guess Frankie wouldn't joke about this kind of thing. Moreover, this kind of thing is not nonsense. The ship's spirit was born because the crew's relationship with the ship was close to a certain extent. Then, once this intimacy fades, it is not impossible that the ship's spirit will disappear because of it. Okay. Everyone, aren't I okay now? Besides, the Mary has also been transformed, and I can continue to adventure with you in the future, isn't it a good thing? It seemed that seeing that everyone's mood was a little low, Melly took the initiative to relieve everyone. Melly didn't say anything about it in advance, and she just didn't want to make everyone more troubled. Now that the Mary has been transformed, there is no need to worry about that happening, and there is nothing better for Melly. Melly is right, you don't need to put on such an expression, at least Mary will always be with us for future adventures. Luffy took over the topic at the right time, as the captain of the ship, he couldn't let his crew be worried all the time. It's not that Luffy doesn't feel anything about it, but there's no need to be sad about something that hasn't happened and won't happen. Luffy only needs to use his foresight to change the ending he wants to change. If you can't do it, you have to keep getting stronger until you can do it. And now Luffy has enough strength to change most of the endings he wants to change. Well, Luffy is right, Mary will always follow us on adventures in the future. Usopp nodded vigorously, and the others restrained their emotions and stopped thinking about the things that didn't happen. But the renovated Mary is so handsome. So, Usopp and Chopper, who were still very sad, once again had their eyes shining and rushed to the newly renamed Merly Chariot Number 1. Tisk, what a simple person. Looking at Usopp and Chopper's performances, Frankie couldn't help but be stunned. Such a simple person would appear on a pirate ship with such a high bounty. Now that the Mary has been transformed, you should leave quickly and don't disturb me here. Frankie waved his hand impatiently, the new ship had not yet been built. The reason why the Mary was renovated today is because the dock system of the new ship designed by himself is almost complete, and the Mary needs to be renovated and adapted to it. Is the metal that transformed the Mary a newly synthesized memory metal? Without leaving immediately, Luffy asked, looking at the angular and metallic shell of the Melly one. That's right, 
This is a new type of memory metal synthesized by Uncle Ben, and I call it Super Memory Alloy. Hearing Luffy ask about the materials of the Merry Chariot one, Frankie immediately replied proudly. This is a new type of material synthesized by himself, although the swallowing fruit is provided by Luffy. After the new ship was built, Frankie planned to use the metal to modify himself. Moreover, because of eating the swallowing fruit, the backside that could not be transformed before can now be transformed by using the ability of the swallowing fruit to eat itself. I have to say that this swallowing fruit is too suitable for me. Damn, am I destined to catch this gang of pirates? Frankie has no resistance to joining the Straw Hat Pirates. After all, it is a group of people who can make the pirate ship give birth to ship spirits, and it is not a disadvantage to join by yourself. But can those little brothers of their own, without their own care, really survive? It's a simple and crude name. Luffy can't complain, but that's fine. If you have the same idea as the original Valpo and want to rely on this metal to join the world government member countries, you don't have to worry about being associated with it by someone who cares. Of course, Luffy can't do this kind of thing himself, although there is no suitable candidate yet, but at least it is a dark move. As for the effect of this metal, when I finish building the ship, I'll talk to you about it, and I'll give me a bastard now. Frankie waved his hand unceremoniously and began to chase people, because today it is mainly processed by the ability to swallow the fruit, so the iceberg is not present today. And the iceberg does have something to do today, although it is a little regrettable that I did not see the transformation of the Mary, but this is also something that cannot be helped. The new ship will be completed in three days, and with your help from the devouring fruit, it will take a little faster than expected. Before Luffy and the others left, they heard Frankie say this. Six days have passed since I came to the capital of Seven Waters, the first three days were spent on the purchase of Treasure Tree Adam and the official start of the new ship was three days ago. In other words, to complete a three-masted galleon in six days, or with only two people, it can only be said that the devil fruit is really unreasonable. However, thanks to the fact that Frankie and Iceberg's shipbuilding skills are really strong, and it seems that both of them have an understanding of the design drawings of the new ship. Therefore, there is basically no need to look at the drawings in the manufacturing process. Got it, but until then, now that the Mary has been transformed, then, Mary, this thunder fruit should also be turned into our combat power. Taking out the thunder fruit that he had been carrying with him, Luffy lifted it in front of Mary. Although Mary, as a ship spirit, can't get too far away from the ship, but with the thunder fruit and the amplified domineering, Mary can fully support from a distance. In the future, there will be a new ship that will eat the thunder fruit, and it will be able to sail the seas as a mobile superweapon. Moreover, there is no need to worry about the ship being invaded by the enemy because it is unguarded in the future. With the presence of Mary, those who wanted to fight the idea of this ship were probably discovered and solved by Mary before they got close. Moreover, in this ocean world, Luffy and the others will basically not be far away from Mary. So, in such a situation, even if the power of Mary is needed, there will be no problem at all. Mary took the thunder fruit handed over by Luffy, and without hesitation, he ate it in one bite. It's incredible, it's an illusory figure, but it really eats the physical devil fruit. How's that? What's going on, Melly? Do you feel anything? Seeing Mary swallow the thunder fruit in one gulp, everyone looked at Mary curiously. This is one of the thunder fruits at the apex of nature. Although Anilu was killed by Luffy in seconds before, the ability he showed still made everyone refresh their three views. Now that the thunder fruit has been eaten by Mary, Everyone is of course eager to see the true power of the thunder fruit. Zizi, the sound of the ark flowing began to ring in everyone's ears. At the same time, thunder continued to emerge from Mary, who had eaten the thunder fruit. Boom! There was another explosion, and a pillar of thunder fell from the sky, slashing at Meli. Get out of the way, everybody, everyone has already awakened to the domineering spirit of seeing and hearing, and they don't need to be reminded and they also know that they have to dodge this thunder pillar attack. Seeing this scene again, everyone was still shocked, thunder and lightning are indeed one of the most powerful forces in this world. Hey, hey, is this the power of the devil fruit again? The powerful thunder pillar attack naturally attracted Frankie's attention. Fortunately, Luffy was a little far away before he gave Mary the thunder fruit. Otherwise, just by the attack just now, 
maybe the new ship that has not yet been completed will have to be damaged once. But even so, Frankie was taken aback. Seeing that Luffy's land was blown open a big crater, and the thunder and lightning that just exceeded common sense, Frankie was once again refreshed. Ah, I'm sorry, everyone, I just ate the thunder fruit, and I didn't grasp this power well. A rather domineering natural devil fruit like the thunder fruit is indeed not easy for those who have just eaten it. However, something like a devil fruit, with a little adaptation, can be easily mastered as easily as instinct. Of course, development and mastery are two different concepts, and people who have just eaten a devil fruit can only use the most basic abilities of the fruit. No matter how you look at it, the thunder fruit is so shocking. Even though he had already seen Analu's ability to use the thunder fruit, it was the first time he had experienced it so closely. The devil fruit of the natural system is indeed extraordinary. Hey, you haven't answered my question yet, everyone was amazed, and really didn't notice what Frankie said. At this point, Frankie asked again, and everyone woke up from the shock. This is the thunder fruit of the natural devil fruits. Luffy, who had been standing still, answered Frankie's question. Frankie has basically decided on his own boat, so naturally there is no need to hide it. Moreover, Luffy has no intention of hiding his partner eating the thunder fruit. What if it is known by the people of the world government and the navy? The current straw hat pirates, even if they don't have Luffy, unless they face the pursuit of the general, or the naval fleet of the demon slayer order. Otherwise, under the influence of Mary's domineering appearance, they may not even be able to find the location of the straw hats. Nature's thunder fruit, even if he hadn't heard of the thunder fruit, the two things of nature, thunder and lightning were enough for Frankie to understand how powerful this fruit was. Mary, has your domineering ability been amplified by the thunder fruit? This kind of thing is basically obvious, and since Anilu can do it, so can Mary. This ability should only be the ability that comes with Thunderbolt, and it does not need to be developed by Mary himself. Well, the range that I can perceive now is more than enough to cover the entire island of the capital of Seven Waters. Sometimes, the Devil Fruit's abilities are really unreasonable. Meili, who had only awakened for a few days after seeing and hearing the domineering color, was already able to cover such a long distance under the increase of the thunder fruit. Even Luffy, in terms of the coverage of seeing and hearing domineering, may not be able to compare to the current Mary. Moreover, through the ability of the thunder fruit, I can hear, know, or read the thoughts of others within the scope of the domineering perception of seeing and hearing. This is where the devil fruit is unreasonable, and other people's sights and hearings can only hear the breath. Except for some people who have special insight and domineering, it is impossible for others to achieve this level. Luffy's mutation is domineering, and he can only see the picture within the range of perception, but he can't even hear his inner thoughts. Not to mention the inner thoughts, even the voice of the voice cannot be heard. Alas, the entire capital of Seven Waters, this is too exaggerated. For a while, everyone was a little amazed. Is also domineering when he has just woken up, even a little earlier than Mary. But what they see and hear is domineering, and at this time, they may not even be able to cover a radius of 50 meters. Such a large range, that is, if we sail on the sea in the future, if we don't want to be met by others, then we won't be discovered at all, right? I remembered that when I was on the Sky Island, Anilu always used my heart to supervise the affairs of the inhabitants of the Sky Island. Cones thinks that the domineering power that has been amplified by the thunder fruit is not very expensive to use? However, if you keep seeing and hearing domineering, won't your physical strength and domineering energy be consumed constantly? The people who have awakened the domineering nature of seeing and hearing naturally know that there will be a certain amount of consumption when they turn on the domineering spirit of seeing and hearing. In this case, it is impossible to be domineering all the time, right? However, when I was still on the Sky Island, Anilu never stopped using the heart net. Konis was quite clear about this. Although he was not punished, there were many people on the island who were punished by Anilu at that time. If it weren't for the constant opening of the heart net, how would Anilu know what someone said? For what Cones said, everyone also looked at Mary curiously, as a party concerned, Mary should be able to answer their doubts, right? I feel that this time I use the color domineering, there is really no consumption when I first woke up, and if I keep turning it on, there should be no problem. Am I unemployed, then? Mikita, who had never had a strong presence on the ship, suddenly came up with such a sentence. 
Everyone looked at her a little speechlessly, how could they not have noticed that she had such a humorous side? By the way, Mary, do you have the physical strength as a ship spirit? When they asked him this, Luffy remembered another question. Whether ordinary people use devil fruit abilities or domineering, it will consume the user's physical strength. But what about Melly's words, as a ship spirit, will there be such a thing as physical strength? What is physical strength? Although he has been observing everyone since his birth, Mary has never considered this kind of thing, after all, he has never seen everyone discuss this kind of thing. It's whether you will feel tired after using the devil fruit, and if there is anything lost in your body after using it, it will be difficult for you to use the ability again. Luffy tried to be as straightforward as possible. Tired? Can't use the ability. No, when I just ate the thunder fruit, that kind of thunder pillar attack, I didn't feel any after using it, well, consumption. Luffy didn't even know what expression to make for a while. If you don't have physical strength, does it mean that the ability of the thunder fruit can be used casually? If that's the case, wouldn't it be a little too buggy? Does this kind of thing really exist in this world? An illusory body that can't be hurt except for the overlord domineering spirit won't be unable to use its abilities due to lack of physical strength. Is this reasonable? Luffy fell into deep thought. This is no limit at all. Luffy feels that Mary can even single handedly take on the whole world. If that's the case, consumption can consume people to death. Is this really possible? Everyone understood what Melly meant. How terrifying would it be to be able to use the thunder fruit infinitely? Unless you encounter Luffy's complete immunity to lightning attacks, even if the power is weak, you can grind the enemy to death. And once you dodge, no matter how much physical strength you have, you will run out one day. Could it be that the ship spirit really has such incredible properties? If that's the case, isn't Mary invincible? Usopp became excited again. This is the Mary, with such a powerful ship spirit. There is no need to be afraid of running into other pirates or something in the future. Not really, folks, although I certainly don't have the stamina you described, I still need to rest. Rest, does that mean that Melly has mental limitations? However, this is also normal, although the illusory body has no physical limitations, but it will have mental fatigue just like humans. I think this is also the reason why Mary can't awaken the armed color domineering, but can awaken the seeing and hearing color domineering. Rest, do you mean sleeping like we do? Usopp was stunned for a moment, and then asked very puzzled. The ship's spirit still needs to rest. How to rest, do you sleep? However, I haven't seen Mary sleeping with everyone in the past few days. Hmm. It's different from your sleep, but it's pretty much the same. Every time I appear in this form, I need to rest for as long as I want, and this rest is attached to the body. At this time, although I can hear you and communicate with you, I can't use the domineering of seeing and hearing. I haven't tried to use the power of the devil fruit yet, but I guess it won't work. Melly spoke out about her limitations. This is the first time I've heard of this kind of restriction for ship spirits. Luffy rubbed his chin. No wonder Mary didn't usually appear in front of everyone. And how long can you appear every time you appear? If that's the case, there's no need for Mary to be attached to the main Mary all the time. At the moment, it can stay like this for up to three days. Melly thought about it, and although she hadn't tried to appear in front of everyone for three days in a row, Melly was sure that this was her limit. However, I have a feeling that if there are more people on the ship who can get along with me like Luffy and you, the longer I can be around. This. Well, Mary, do you still have this kind of restriction? Hey, Frankie, do you know why? As the most knowledgeable Frankie, what should he know? I don't know, but I think it has something to do with the reason why the ship spirit appeared. Why does the ship spirit appear? The ship spirit will appear, according to Frankie's previous statement, because the relationship between the ship and the crew is close to a certain level, and the ship gives birth to the ship spirit in order to repay the favor. It doesn't seem to make sense that the ship spirit will be able to exist longer as the number of people who are close to it increases. Everyone thought thoughtfully. Luffy, on the other hand, thought of another point, the more people who fell in love with Mary, the longer Mary existed. So if it reaches a certain point, will Melly become a human completely? As a traverser, Luffy is even more daring to speculate in this regard, but how does it feel so mysterious? Moreover, even if Mary could indeed be completely human, how many crew members would it take to be so close to Mary? 
Even if Luffy doesn't have the idea of recruiting only 10 people now, it is impossible to recruit people without restrictions. Moreover, if you hire someone casually, how many will be so close to Melly? What's more, Mary has now become Mary Chariot number one, and it is even more difficult for those who come on board later to cultivate this intimate relationship with Melly. Or is it possible to get close to the ship spirit Mary Sakiko to this extent? However, these are still too far away, and as for whether or not they can turn Mary into a human, it is still just Luffy's unwarranted speculation. But this is also very powerful, with the power of the Thunderfruit, how many people can last three days in Mary's hands? This is true, with the power of the Thunderfruit, ordinary pirates would not be able to withstand a Thunder Pillar attack. And those who can resist the power of the Thunderfruit will basically be solved by Luffy and Zoro. Besides, although Mary, who is attached to the main body, can't use the domineering of seeing and hearing, if someone gets on Luffy's ship, Mary can still feel it. Watching the ship is still not a problem for Mary. But I didn't expect you to give the ship spirit a devil fruit, which is really surprising. The purpose of the ship was to sail, but it is unbelievable that someone is now giving the ship spirit devil fruit. However, this also proves that they do have a good relationship with this ship, and even if they change ships, they still do not forget this ship. It's no wonder that such an ordinary boat can give birth to the legendary existence of the ship spirit. The point is that this ship spirit can actually eat devil fruits, and is willing to eat devil fruits. You must know that after eating a devil fruit, nothing will be related to swimming again. Even a ship can be cursed by the devil fruit. And for a ship, if it can't sail, then what's the point of existence? But what about the ship spirit in front of him, after knowing that he could not continue sailing for too long? he took the initiative to appear. In Frankie's view, this is the ship's spirit who shows up to tell the crew to change ships in time. And after knowing that he could continue to adventure with these crew members, he resolutely ate the devil fruit that would prevent him from going to sea. It's not just the crew who are close to the ship, but the ship's spirit is also close to them. Isn't this the kind of team they've been looking for to hand over the ship they built to them? So can I also join them? and will the ship I am about to build also give birth to such a ship spirit? At this moment, Frankie suddenly had an urge to go to sea with Luffy and them. It is basically certain that the design of Hades is in the hands of Frankie, the boss of the dismantling merchant Frankie's family. At Bruno's bar, Khalifa told the information she had gathered. On her side, in addition to Bruno, who is disguised as the owner of the bar, there are two other people. On one shoulder stood a pigeon, and the other had a long nose like a block. If the iceberg were here at this time, he would have found that the other two people were Carrera, the shipwright of dock number one, Lu Chi and Kaku. Frankie. Why is he there? The three of them, Frankie and Rob Lu Chi, have been undercover here for so long, so they naturally know him as a person. But to outsiders, it's just a thug who stirs up trouble around town. At most, a little shipbuilding technology, why does it have to do with the design of Hades? You know the Straw Hats who recently came to the island, and they pointed out Frankie and Iceberg to build them a new ship, right? Khalifa pushed her glasses and asked rhetorically. Rob Lucci nodded, especially Rob Lucci and Kaku, who were outwardly portrayed as shipwrights at Carrera's Dock No. 1. In the past two days, Dock No. 1 has given up a place, and the two of them naturally know that it is Frankie and Iceberg who are building a new ship for the Straw Hats. The two also secretly observed Frankie and the iceberg, but found nothing strange. The two of them were exactly the same as usual, Frankie would look for the stubble of the iceberg from time to time, and the iceberg would communicate with Frankie normally. Except for the fact that they were both invited by the Straw Hats to build a ship, the two looked really unfamiliar. Could it be that Frankie has anything to do with the iceberg? As a CP9 agent capable of undercover missions, Kaku's mind is naturally quite flexible and quickly comes up with the gist of it. That's right, they were all disciples of Tom the Fishman. No wonder. In that case, let's get ready to do it. There is no need to ask the reason, the agent who is walking in the dark is supposed to act directly if he has a clue. Moreover, with the dark justice in Rob Lucci's heart, he would rather kill the wrong one than let it go. Don't you have to wait for the straw hats to leave? Although the relationship between Iceberg and Frankie is discovered, Khalifa does not know that Luffy has invited Frankie on board. So, in her thoughts, is it better to wait for this group of pirates to leave before doing it, so as not to be ruined by them? 
Justice doesn't need to give way to pirates. Rob Lucci's face was grim and he said calmly. Yes. The three days passed quickly, and by the time Luffy and the others arrived at Carrera's dock number one again, the new ship had been completed. You're here, little ghosts, the ship has been built, let's take a look at this super new ship. Seeing Luffy and the others coming, Frankie and Iceberg walked up at the same time, and Frankie made his customary super moves. I didn't expect the devil fruit to be so powerful, I thought it would be impossible for Frankie to say that he would build a new ship in a week, and besides, he would use Adam the treasure tree to make it. The iceberg on the side was amazed at this time, even he, a master shipbuilder, had to sigh, the devil fruit was indeed magical. During this week's time, the iceberg is just doing the simplest work such as splicing. The work that required the processing of the treasure tree Adam, such as modeling, was done by Frankie with the ability to swallow the fruit. This ship looks so big, although the new ship was covered with two pieces of black cloth, leaving only the mast of astonishing height exposed, it was indeed several laps larger than the Mary just by its size. Then, it's time for the mouth to be excited, Frankie and Iceberg alone pull the corner of the black cloth that covers the new ship, and Frankie shouts even more exaggeratedly. Hurry up, hurry up, I want to see what the new ship looks like. People are always very interested in new things, and now Chopper and Usopp can't wait to see the new ship. Because the problem of the Mary was successfully solved, everyone was not as sad as in the original book, and now everyone only has expectations for the new ship. Huh, as Frankie and Iceberg each exerted their strength, the ship covered in black cloth was finally completely revealed in front of everyone. The shape of the new ship is roughly the same as the sunshine in Luffy's memory, but the surface of the hull is no longer just wood, but wood and metal are intertwined. The whole ship is a two-masted schooner, with a total length of nearly 40 meters, and the bow is a lion's head like the sun as in the original. On the side of the ship, in a circular structure, the number one is marked. The sails were retracted, but judging by the little traces that were peeking out, the Straw Hat Pirates logo had been painted on them. Above the lookout, the flag of the Straw Hat Pirates has also been raised. That's amazing, and it's so big, it looks so magnificent. Looking at the new ship that was fully revealed, even Luffy, he was excited for a while. This ship, both in terms of material and technology, is top-notch, and Luffy believes that it will be able to carry his people around the world with his goal. The pirate flag and the straw hat logo on the sails, it was Melly who did it. Seeing that Luffy and the others all fell into shocked expressions, Frankie mentioned it again. After reading the outside, I'll take you to familiarize yourself with the environment inside. Looking at the straw hats who sighed, Frankie's heart was also full of pride. It is undoubtedly an honor for those who build their own boats to be recognized by others. Hurry up, I can't wait to see my pantry, and me, and me. I'm going to see my medical room. Usopp and Chopper, who couldn't stop their excitement, were the first to catch up with Frankie, and climbed onto the new ship as soon as they slipped through the smoke. Luffy and the others also climbed up one after another. After climbing onto the deck of the new ship, the first thing that catches your eye is a green lawn. Chopper, who was the first to climb up, was already rolling around on the lawn. Ah, it's so comfortable. Chopper, who was lying on the lawn, had a soft feeling all over his body at this time, and screamed comfortably. The new ship has three floors, and according to your requirements, the boys' rooms are on the first floor, and there is also an aquarium here. In addition, there is an energy supply room on this floor, and in addition to the original Coke Energy, a special power supply system has been added according to Luffy's request. This is also Luffy's inspiration from Analu's proverb arc. Since the thunder fruit was eaten by Mary, it was natural that the Thunderfruit's ability could not be wasted. In a world where most ships still sail by wind and currents, even the world government only uses steam power for sea trains. And this was done because of the railroad tracks laid on the sea. Now, the new ship not only has the cola-powered transition technology, but also has electric power. Even if the ship's coke inventory is low in the future, it can still use the power of the Thunderfruit to generate electricity through Mary. As long as Mary is not still in a state of attachment after appearing, with the materials of the new ship, it is completely possible to use the wind cannon continuously to escape on the way. Moreover, as a ship spirit, Mary is also able to sail a ship on his own. This is what Melly personally told Luffy, as a ship spirit, 
he is much more proficient in the use of ships than ordinary humans. Even if it's not the main Mary, Mary can still drive. In this case, if someone stops you on the island in the future, there is also a Mary who can be used as a means of escape. It's too luxurious, I can't believe it's going to be the boat we're going to be on in the future. It's just the first floor, and everyone is already excited to see it, and there are still second and third floors that haven't been seen. Frankie leads the group into the aquarium, and as soon as they enter the aquarium, they are greeted by an entire wall of fish tanks. Are there really fish? Moreover, these fish tanks are so big, I feel that I can catch some fish in the future and raise them in case there is a shortage of food. Although the straw hats have not experienced a shortage of supplies so far, who knows if the island will need to sail for a long time in the future. That's amazing. Usopp and Chopper's faces had already been pressed against the glass wall of the fish tank, and they looked in amazement at the inside of the fish tank, which was only a small fish for the time being. Qinghai's ship is incredible. Su. Cones followed behind Luffy and the others, looked around at the aquarium, and looked down at the cloud fox in her arms, her eyes full of amazement. I feel that when I was on the empty island, I bought less of those cloud furniture, and now that the new ship is so big, I can put more of it. Nami said with some regret. But Luffy said that when he gets the fluttering fruit, Sky Island can go back at any time, and when the time comes, he can take another part of the gold down, happy. It's a lift facility that connects to the kitchen on the second floor, and food can be transported through this lift facility. Frankie stopped at an entrance. After visiting the aquarium, the group returned to the deck. Next is the second floor, and we go up from here. The stairs were the same as on the Mary, on both sides, and the group followed Frankie up to the second floor again. This is the health room, the medical room that Chopper needs. Ah, the chair I wanted. As soon as he entered the infirmary, Chopper's eyes lit up and he jumped onto the conspicuous chair in the room. Chopper, who jumped up, gave a little force, and the chair spun around. The kitchen and granary are arranged together, and the fish tank mouth of the aquarium is also here, so if you catch a fish at that time, you can throw it in. Walking out of the health room, Frankie didn't mean to stop, and pointed to the other rooms. The girls' room is also on this floor. This Frankie didn't take the crowd on a tour anymore. On the third floor, there is a library and a measuring room, and there is also a bathroom, above the measuring room in the library, you can go and see this for yourself when the time comes. In addition, the watchtower has been made into a room, with radio speakers and gym equipment. The rest, let's see for yourselves, how about it, are you still satisfied? At this time, everyone was speechless, and this new ship was really beyond everyone's expectations. This is not only satisfaction, but also the future voyage will definitely be very comfortable. To be able to make a pirate ship to this extent, those noble cruise ships are not so luxurious. When Gal Tino used to be an agent of the Baroque workshop, he also enjoyed it on a cruise. But compared to the ship in front of him, it doesn't seem to be anything. Uh huh. Marianu also agrees with Gardino that the so called cruise ships they took on when the two of them were on a mission together were completely incomparable to this. Okay, let's go down first. I'm in a hurry to come to the iceberg, he's still waiting for you to name this new ship. Hearing Frankie's words, everyone's eyes lit up again. Yes, the new ship doesn't have a name yet. At this time, everyone's minds began to think about what kind of name to choose for this new ship. How's it going? Are you satisfied with the new ship? As soon as everyone got off the boat, Iceberg asked. Although the main design and construction of this ship was done by Frankie, the Iceberg itself has also modified a lot of places, and naturally it is full of expectations for this new ship. Satisfied, so satisfied, it's even more luxurious than my ideal boat. Usopp and Chopper replied without hesitation, the excitement on their faces still there, and it did not mean to subside at all. It's good to be satisfied, then, do you have any thoughts on the name of this ship? A ship always needs a name, let alone a pirate ship, which will be completely bound to this pirate group. Since this ship was built by Frankie and Mr. Iceberg, then you two fathers should name this child. Luffy suppressed everyone's excitement and said sincerely to Iceberg and Frankie. This ship, for Iceberg and Frankie, has a very unusual significance. So, Luffy wanted these two to name the new ship. Well, I would like to name our ship. Everyone wanted to give the ship their favorite name to their liking. 
But now that Luffy has made this decision, everyone can only secretly pray that Iceberg and Frankie can give the ship a nice name. I'll leave it to you with the name, you know, I'm not good at this kind of thing. Frankie tilted his head, as if he really did what he said, he wasn't good at naming such things. But the Iceberg knew that it was Frankie who gave up this opportunity to himself. As the designer of this ship, and built this ship himself, how could Frankie give up this opportunity because he was not good at choosing a name? Let's call it the Sunshine, Miles of Sunshine? Well, I hope it can be like the sun, calmly and happily through the cruel sea. Then this ship is called the Sunshine of the Miles. Phew. Finally, we have finished moving, and in the future, we will have to take the Sunshine Miles on the adventure. The dismantling merchant Frankie's family, with the help of the Frankie family, Usopp and others moved all the things stored here to the Wanli Sunshine. And when are we leaving, Luffy? Now that everything has been moved, and you've been in the city of Seven Waters for a week, it's time to go, right? Hearing Usopp's question, everyone also looked at Luffy curiously. While it was indeed time to leave, Frankie didn't seem to have any intention of getting on board. Is it difficult to fly to the wrong person? Wasting a swallowing fruit in vain? No, it can't be said that it was a waste of swallowing fruit, after all, this Wanli sunshine was completed so quickly because of swallowing fruit. It's ready to go, but before that, there are some troubles to solve. Every time Mary appears these days, he will use his domineering appearance, which has been amplified by the thunder fruit. Therefore, it happened to be heard that CP9 was preparing to make a move on Frankie. This is good news for Luffy, who was still hesitant to get on his ship. Now with CP9's assist, he should also understand that staying here will only hurt his younger brothers. Luffy could see that Frankie had the intention of going to sea with his people, and the reason why he hesitated was because of his little brothers. Now, since staying will affect the younger brother, then he has nothing to hesitate about. Trouble? Everyone was puzzled, although Mary heard the news, but only told Luffy the news, and did not tell anyone else. So they didn't know about it. Remember what I said earlier about the agents of the world government? CP9. Luffy's words immediately made Robin react, and only Robin here knows anything about the world government. What are they doing here? Arrest us. Despite asking, Nami didn't show the slightest fear. Now Luffy is not the only one on the ship, even the thunderfruit has been eaten by Mary. As long as you don't encounter the existence of pheasants again, what is there to be afraid of? Remember the first time we went to find Frankie, and Frankie's reaction? At that time, I remember you told you about a blueprint of the Immortal King, and he immediately drew his weapon and attacked you. At the time, because of Frankie's unusual reaction, Nami always remembered it. You say the blueprints of the Immortal? Nami's words surprised Robin, listening to the meaning of Nami's words, the design of the ancient weapon Hades was actually in Frankie's hands. Moreover, does Luffy even know about this kind of thing? No, no, Robin was quickly amused by his own thoughts. If Luffy really wants the blueprint of Hades, with his strength, how can Frankie resist? Huh, Robin, have you heard of the blueprints of Hades? Originally, I wondered what this Hades design was, but why did Frankie do it without saying a word when he heard it? Now that Robin seems to know what the Hades blueprint is, Nami is immediately interested. Although the others listened in a fog, they also looked at Robin curiously. Pruto, the Hades King, is a super battleship, as one of the three ancient weapons, it is rumored to have the power to destroy the world, and a single cannon can destroy an island. Robin glanced at Luffy and saw that Luffy didn't mean to stop him, so he opened his mouth to explain to everyone. Really, destroying an island with one shot, and having the power to destroy the world? The first reaction of everyone was disbelief. If the Hades king could really destroy an island with one shot, wouldn't it mean that their people couldn't withstand the Hades king's shot at all? This power, even Luffy, can't bear it, right? In everyone's mind, the guns carried by the ships are a great threat to the wisdom of the sea voyage. But for the strong, these shells simply do not make sense. But now someone suddenly told him that with such a warship, he could destroy an island with one shot, just ask, who can stop such power? In other words, those CP9 agents, is the target Frankie? If the Hades blueprints can really create an ancient weapon, Hades, then it makes sense for the world government to want to capture Frankie. However, 
The world government has not been able to find the design of Mingyang for so many years, why did it know the news that the design is in Frankie's hands at this time? Although the intelligence ability of the world government is indeed very strong, but Frankie has been fine for so many years, why was he suddenly discovered now? Is this too coincidental, but when he and others came to find someone to build a ship, he was discovered. It should be that I invited him and Bingshan to help build the new ship at the same time, so that those CP9 people found the clues. It's not like Luffy did it on purpose, but he didn't think about it that much at the time. Luffy just hopes that his new ship can be completed by the best shipbuilder in the world. I didn't expect these CP9 special noses to be so sensitive. Just because he invited Frankie and Iceberg to help build the ship, they discovered the relationship between the two. It's not a big deal, though. Maybe CP9's intelligence ability is really good, but whether or not he has the strength to catch Frankie from his own hands is another matter. But what does this have to do with the blueprints of Hades? Although it may be possible to investigate the relationship between the two, how does this connect with the blueprints of Hades? The secretary next to Iceberg, the two foremen of Dock 1, were disguised by CP9 agents, and their initial target was Iceberg. Luffy roughly explained. In other words, the blueprint of Hades was in the hands of Iceberg at first, but Iceberg knew that his identity was easy to be exposed, so he handed over the blueprint to Frankie? But another question arises. Why does the iceberg have a Hades blueprint? That's probably what it means, so after we've dealt with these CP9 agents, we'll set off, and when the time comes, it's time for Frankie to make up his mind. Moreover, in CP9, Bruno's gate fruit is also a rare and powerful fruit. Especially in terms of saving your life, if you dodge in another dimension, you can avoid any attack. Originally, I was still struggling with what fruit to prepare for Wei Wei but I forgot about this door-to-door -door fruit. As for who to give these powerful fruits to, it doesn't make a difference to Luffy. As long as your strength doesn't fall behind, it's fine. So are we just waiting here for those people to come over? Now that Luffy has made a decision, the others will naturally not have objections. However, if we stay here, will the other party really come over? Sanji asked with a cigarette in his mouth and a little puzzled. It's not that Shanji thinks highly of himself, and thinks that as long as he and others are there, he will definitely not be succeeded by the other party. But in Sanji's opinion, since it is a profession like a spy, shouldn't he carry out the mission under the condition of ensuring that nothing goes wrong? The government's CP agency, the agents in it still have some strength. Maybe in their opinion, the highest reward on our side is only 290 million bailey, which is still within the range they can accept. But it's not to blame them, the information about Luffy's battle with the pheasant, Sengoku didn't report it to the world government. Therefore, Luffy's true strength has not been exposed in the eyes of the world government, and it is not incomprehensible that these agents have such a performance now. However, it can also be seen from here that the navy and the world government are not completely of the same mind. Otherwise, a person who can fight with the general and not fall behind for a short time suddenly appears on the sea. How could these CP9 people not know? This time, the opponent will be handed over to you, whether you are alone or in a group of several people, it is up to you. The strength of these people is exactly the right match for you now. However, Luffy doesn't plan to make a move this time, even Rob Luffy doesn't pose any threat to the current Luffy. Zolan, who has mastered the two color domineering and has completely mastered the iron slashing realm, will not have much difficulty dealing with a Rob Lucci. Although Rob Lucci's six styles can be said to have a fairly high degree of mastery, it is indeed quite dangerous for ordinary people. But after all, he didn't master the ability of domineering, no matter how fast the speed of the six style shave, under the perception of seeing and hearing domineering, there was still nothing to hide. Iron is such a thing, it can only be said that it understands everything, not to mention that it is still facing an iron swordsman like Zoro. As for the Devil Fruit Amplification's power attack, as long as you don't get hit, you won't have any problems. What's more, armed domineering also has a defensive effect. As for the others other than Rob Lucci, no matter how bad it is, there is Melly watching. To see who is in danger, a thunderbolt slashes over, and with these CP9 members who have not yet mastered the domineering power of seeing and hearing, it is basically impossible to dodge the speed of thunder and lightning. There won't even be time to react. What's more, K 
Kinesi's sluggish fruit can be said to be the nemesis of these people who are good at physical skills and have not yet mastered the domineering spirit of seeing and hearing. Therefore, on this great voyage, it is really very difficult to meet the domineering existence. Even if it is a little white like Kanis who has never fought, as long as it is not a few people who are beating up, causing him to be in a panic mood and unable to use it normally. Otherwise, as long as Cones predicts the direction of the attack, he can use the dull light to stop the enemy in advance. Huh, is there finally a chance to fight again? Hearing Luffy's words, Zoro raised his eyebrows and glanced at Sanji at the same time. Along the way, the enemies you encounter are either not very good, or they are not the kind of opponents at all. This made Zoro and Sanji, who had always wanted to fight, almost suffocated. Now that they finally have a suitable opponent, Zoro and Sanji can't wait. Even Guard Tino was gearing up at this time, eager to see how effective his pseudo elementalization would be in actual combat. Hey, why haven't you left yet? Won't you be reluctant to Uncle Ben? Just when Zoro and the others were waiting for the arrival of the CP9 members with fiery eyes, Frankie, who had been struggling with whether to promise Luffy, saw Luffy and the others, who had no intention of setting off at all, and said jokingly. And it was this move that made Frankie's urge to get on the ship a little stronger. Poof, in addition to being dressed a little perverted, this guy is quite interesting. Gal Dino, who had been waiting for him, finally couldn't help but laugh when he heard Frankie's words. The people from CP9 are here, so let's get ready. Everyone who wanted to talk back, when they heard Luffy's reminder, they all started to see and hear the domineering that had just awakened. At the same time, not far behind Frankie, in the otherwise empty air, a transparent door opened. A pair of hands reached through the open door to an unresponsive Frankie. Boom! Just as the hands were about to catch Frankie, a blue pillar of thunder slammed down from the sky and smashed directly into the abruptly open air door. And the hands that stretched out were directly hit by this thunder pillar before they had time to react. Ah with a scream, several figures fell out from behind the translucent door. And this thunderous roar also made Frankie react, and his body quickly turned around and at the same time raised his hands. The bullets poured out, and the younger brothers were in the house anyway, so they didn't have to worry about injuring their own people by mistake. Although he didn't know who was behind him, Frankie was no stranger to the dazzling sound of thunder and lightning and thunder. When Mary had just eaten the thunder fruit that day, she startled Frankie as well. Moreover, although they only got along for a week, and they only helped each other build a boat. But Frankie has an incredible trust in them, this is also the reason why Frankie directly turned back and attacked as soon as he heard the voice. He didn't think Mary would come here for no reason. With the sound of the guns sweeping, Frankie's turned body finally saw the person attacking him behind him. It's you, however, with just one glance, Frankie's eyes widened. There were a total of seven people behind him, and among these seven people, four people actually knew him. Luki, Kaku, Khalifa, and the bar's owner, Bruno, you. Frankie didn't understand for a while, what the hell is going on with these people? Carter Flam, hand over the blueprints of Hades. Although the sudden lightning attack ruined the original plan to capture Frankie directly, and Bruno was also injured by that attack. But several people deserved to be CP9 agents, and quickly adjusted their mentality, and while adjusting their figures, they shaved and flickered, surrounding Frankie in the middle. Looking at the appearance of these people, it seems that Luffy completely ignores these people. Although Bruno's hand was injured, it was still fine if he just opened the door. As long as they catch Frankie before they can make a move, they can just leave. Although the Thunder Pillar attack was amazing, Bruno's injury was not serious. Rob Lucci and the others didn't think much about it, the design of the Hades was right in front of them, and now was not the time to be surprised. Just as Rob Lucci and the others were about to strike again, another attack slashed over. But this time it was no longer a lightning attack, but a blue slash. At the same time, the two figures quickly rushed towards the encirclement of CP9. The re-arrival of the attack made Rob Lucci give up the idea of trying to catch Frankie directly. His eyes gestured to the few people around him, and then turned his head to look in the direction where Luffy was. At this time, in addition to Zoro and Sanji, who were the first to rush over, several other figures were also rushing over. At this time, only Luffy, Marianu, Usopp who was aiming with a slingshot in his hand, 
and Nami and Silk, who had no combat power for the time being, were left. The others, including Kanai's, had all gone aboard the Sunshine. What do you mean, Straw Hats? Rob Lucci's face was gloomy, ignoring Zoro and Sanji, who had already appeared in front of him, and instead looked at Luffy, who was still standing on the ship. I thought I could rely on the ability of the door fruit to take Frankie away directly, but I didn't expect to be discovered in such an unexpected situation. As for how Luffy could have predicted in advance that Frankie would be attacked, it's just that Bruno and the others who have seen and heard the domineering perception of the ability to use the door fruit in other places are just Bruno and the others. Frankie is the shipwright on my ship, and you suddenly attack him, and I want to ask you what you mean, are you preparing to go to war with us? Luffy asked directly, and at the same time, the other people who had just disembarked had already stood by Zoro and Sanji's side. Luffy kid. Frankie, who was surrounded by CP9's people, looked at Luffy in a daze. At the beginning, it seemed that it was also Mr. Tom who stood in front of himself and the iceberg. Boss. You. Luki, Kaku, what do you want to do? Why are you surrounding us boss? Hearing the movement outside, the Frankie family brothers came out of the house again. And as soon as they came out, they saw Frankie surrounded by people. And a few of the people who surrounded him were people they knew. As a shipwright in the number one dock, there is basically no one in the capital of Seven Waters who does not know him. So even these little brothers of Frankie recognized the few people in front of them at the first time. We are the people of the world government, the Straw Hats, do you really want to be enemies of the world government? Although he is proud of his strength, if he really fights, he may let the design of the Hades fall into the hands of the Straw Hats. This kind of thing must be absolutely avoided, so at this time, Rob Luck still moved out of the name of the world government. The world government, the people of the world government are working as shipwrights here, who are you bluffing? As an espionage agency, Rob Lucci and others will not easily confess their CP9 identity, otherwise the future espionage mission will not be easy to do. Because of this, Luffy simply pretended not to know and went back directly. Lucci, why talk nonsense with them, just kill them all. Gabra, who has a grumpy personality, is the devil fruit ability in the form of a dog fruit and a wolf in the original book, spoke. Although Gabra doesn't like Rob Lucci as a person, whoever calls the family a senior can only follow his orders when acting. Rob Lucci was silenced by Luffy's words, just as Luffy thought, as an agent of CP9, try to keep his identity as secret as possible when possible. Otherwise, kill all the people who know as much as possible, otherwise, once your face is exposed, the espionage mission will basically not be done. Thinking of this, Rob Lucci didn't plan to talk nonsense anymore, and after making a secret gesture, his body suddenly disappeared in place. And at the very beginning of Operation Rob Lucci, the other members of CP9 also took action. There were seven CP9 agents who appeared, and exactly seven people disembarked. Although these members of the CP9, after using the six style shaving, are really fast. But in the face of Zoro and the others, who have awakened and seen the domineering, it is useless at all. Zoro took the lead, the three knives at his waist had all been drawn out, held in his hands and in his mouth. In a stride, he stopped Rob Lucci, who had just disappeared with a shaving. And Rob Lucci, who was stopped by Zoro, had constricted pupils. Judging from the feeling of the part that hardened with the iron block and the collision of Soren's three blades, the opponent's strength is surprisingly large. If the iron was not used in time, he might have been injured in this collision. And just as Zoro stopped Rob Lucci, the others also faced off with the remaining CP9 members. You guys really don't have any manners at all. Raising his leg to block the attack of Kubno's Kaku, Sanji said calmly. Blackfoot Sanji, no. Why don't you look different from the photo on the bounty order? Looking at the yellow haired, curly eyebrowed man standing in front of him, Kaku recognized the other party immediately. After all, it's a newcomer to the Straw Hat Pirates who have only recently received a bounty. When the Straw Hats had just ascended to the capital of the Seven Waters, there was already information in front of them. It's a little weird, though, this face looks a lot worse. What are you bastard talking about? Lao Su is Sanji, as for the broken bounty, you go and ask the navy. Although I was really happy when I heard that I was being rewarded. 
But in the past few days of visiting the capital of Seven Waters, Sanji has already seen his extremely terrifying bounty order. Now when I heard the CP9 in front of me mention this matter, Sanji broke the defense in an instant, and the force under his feet couldn't help but increase, and the two separated again. Hey, is it actually a devil fruit power, house? Dogs? Looking at the orc CP9 who appeared in front of him, Gardino couldn't help but complain, but his subordinates were unequivocal, and the candle shackles suddenly struck. Bastard, you're the dog, your whole family is a dog, I'm a wolf. Like Sanji, who was broken by Kaku's words, the CP9 member in front of him was also angry with Gal Dino's words. However, despite this, the attack that came directly head on was still dodged by him with a shaving speed. So, little sister, in order to avoid being harassed by men, my opponent is you. Khalifa's figure appeared in front of Kanai's, however, she was greeted by a circle of pink light. Although it was the first time to do it with someone else, Kanai's didn't panic much when she saw and heard the domineering existence. In the absence of specific information, a rule-based devil fruit ability similar to the sluggish fruit. For those who have not seen and heard the domineering, it is undoubtedly a dimensionality reduction blow. Even though the speed of the dull light was not fast, Khalifa shaved it herself. In this case, Konus, who has no combat experience, will be the first to end the battle. Sure enough, the first time he came into contact with the sluggish light, the finger gun that had already stretched out his finger and was about to hit Konus was directly forced to stop. Although it doesn't really stop, this speed is actually no different from stopping. The ability of the devil fruit, and the ability to be domineering, is indeed powerful. Nami looked in Kinesis' direction with a look of envy. Obviously, he was an ordinary person before, but after awakening his domineering spirit and eating the fruit of slowness, he was able to defeat these people who were not easy to mess with at first glance in an instant. If it is a normal situation, at the speed of these CP9s, ordinary people will not even be able to see their speed clearly. But in the case of seeing and hearing domineering, he directly ignored the speed of these people. Don't be envious, you'll be able to get your devil fruit soon. Seeing the envy in Nami's eyes, Luffy just smiled faintly, and then opened his mouth to comfort. The new ship has been built, the wind has solved the matter here, and it's almost time for the golden lion to appear, right? Huh? Hearing Luffy's words, Nami was visibly stunned. Although Luffy kept telling himself that he had chosen the right devil fruit for himself. Luffy was vague about when he would be able to get it. Hearing Luffy's words at this time, Nami couldn't help but look forward to it. As more and more enemies she encountered, Nami's need for devil fruits became more and more urgent. I used to think about exchanging devil fruits for Bailey, but now Nami has long forgotten about it. Himself, too, wants to help Luffy, instead of being protected by him every time. Regardless of what Nami thinks on her side, the first win or defeat on the field has already been decided. After Kanus restrained Khalifa with the ability of the sluggish fruit, Gardino, who still had the strength to spare, directly tied Khalifa's hands and feet with two candle shackles. Tisk, that woman Khalifa was subdued so easily, what is she doing? The male lion, who was stopped by the transformed shopper, couldn't help but complain when he noticed Khalifa, who was motionless and his hands and feet were wrapped around white shackles. Good chance. At the same time, the lion's momentary distraction was seized by Chopper. Strengthened wrist strength, hardened domineering in armed color, carved hoof cherry blossoms. The muscles of Chopper's right hand in the form of an erect man swelled for a while, and at the same time, a layer of black armed color domineering covered the deer's hooves. At this moment of opportunity seized with the domineering spirit of seeing and hearing, he hit the forehead of the male lion directly. That's right, Chopper's physical fitness, as an animal, is completely able to withstand the domineering of the armed color. Therefore, when everyone woke up and saw the domineering, he and Gardino awakened the armed domineering at the same time with the help of Marianu. The deer hooves that were blessed with great force and covered with armed color domineering directly hit the forehead of the male lion. And the male lion, who had no time to dodge because of this momentary distraction, rolled his eyes and flew out under Chopper's blow. And the life he was so proud of was returned, but he didn't even have a chance to show it. Unlike the others, who are all shaving actions, Otano Owl, that is, CP9 with a mouth like a zipper, who jumped into the sky with a moon step from the beginning. 
Seeing that the two of them were defeated by the Straw Hats in a row, the Odinai Owl seemed to want to attack Konis and Chopper, who had already finished the fight. Your opponent is here, Robin's hands are crossed, and the Flower Fruit ability is activated. Rokorona. Anchor Flower. Oops. Because of the successive defeats of the two partners, the Odono Owl only cares about attacking Kanais and Chopper, who defeated the two. And completely forgot that there was also a Robin on the field who had no opponent. Six pink arms wrapped around the owl's neck, arms, and feet at the same time. However, it seems that because the other party's neck is about the same thickness as the body, Robin has something wrong when he wants to fix the other party's neck. However, although it didn't directly make the opponent lose its combat effectiveness, it was almost okay to grab his hands and feet. Although Robin's strength is not enough to last long, it is enough to have such a momentary effort. Gartino's candle shackles are thrown out again. Bastard, how can you succeed again? Seeing his opponent once again ignore himself and attack the others, Gobra suddenly felt his face glazed out, and his sharp wolf claws slapped towards Gar Diner. I've seen your attack a long time ago. Under the domineering perception of seeing and hearing, Gardino did not stop the movements in his hands, and he had no intention of dodging. Huh, Gobra's claws hit Gartino directly in the chest. A flash of joy flashed in Gobra's heart, it seemed that he was still more powerful, and he was the first to kill his opponent. However, Gobra, who was just about to pull out his claws and continue to attack the mending knife, changed his face in an instant. I slapped the claws of Galdino by myself, and I couldn't pull it out. In a panic, Gobra noticed that Gardino had been hit by his own claws, and that there was no blood coming out of his chest. Although he did have the touch of attacking something, at this time, his claws directly penetrated the chest of the person in front of him. However, the imaginary flesh and blood scroll did not appear. His own claws did hit the other party, but at this time, the other party's chest was indeed covered with a layer of white substance that had been completely solidified. Gal Dino's candle shackles once again succeeded in restraining the Autano Owl, and at the same time, Gar Diner looked at Gabra in front of him. You've been caught by me, too. The corners of Gar Tino's mouth curled as he grabbed Gabra's other hand, which was still free, with both free hands. In one hand, another candle shackle was thrown at Gabra's feet. Damn, bastard, what the hell are you capable of? Why did I hit you and you didn't do anything at all? Seeing himself being bound, Gabra couldn't do anything about it. The hand that was still able to move tried to break free from the other party's control, but found that the opponent's strength seemed to be surprisingly large. Even the self who had turned into a werewolf couldn't break free, and when he turned his head to look, he was caught by a pitch black palm firmly grasping him. Candle clone. As the voice of Galtino fell, the original Galtino suddenly began to melt completely. The Galtino melted into a white liquid form, and some of it was separated from it. The white liquid form candle that had been separated from that part reformed the form of Gardino in Gabra's stunned eyes. The original mass of liquid flowed down Gabra, who had already tied one hand to the other. Then, after wrapping around his hands, the liquid candle quickly solidified. At this point, one more member of CP9 was restrained. At this moment, Bruno, who was originally injured by Mary's lightning attack and did not play. Watching the people on his side being defeated one after another, I wanted to do something. Boom! A series of sounds of the earth cracking, and Bruno, who had wanted to do something, was interrupted in this shaking. Don't think about doing anything superfluous. Retracting her feet that had just stepped on the ground, Makita carried her special umbrella and glanced directly at Bruno as he fell to the ground. Although the weight that can be increased by a light fluttering fruit is not as good as that of a ton of pressed fruit, it is not comparable to a ton of pressed fruit in the sense that it will not be subjected to a reaction force. Therefore, Mikita can take advantage of this and use her hands and feet to attack by gaining weight. With a weight of 10,000 kilograms, stepping on the ground, it can completely crush the earth. At the end of the battle, Gartino threw out the candle shackles at the right time to restrain Bruno who had fallen to the ground. As a result, only Rob Lucci and Kaku are the only CP9 members on the field. Good. It's amazing. Except for Zoro and Sanji, the battle of the rest of the people ended quickly, and those Frankie's younger brothers were all surprised at this time. Frankie was also shocked at this time, looking at everything on the field. 
These guys who can quietly appear behind themselves have been defeated so easily. The remaining two people, looking at the way they fight, are not at all pleasing to them, and they can't even touch Zoro and Sanjido. Straw hats. At this time, Rob Lucci's face was gloomy, and he glanced at Khalifa and the others, who had already been defeated, and he didn't expect the strength of the straw hats to be so strong. In this short few minutes of fighting, except for the moment when the opponent wanted to block him at the beginning, he was stunned and couldn't touch the other party once. And he has been attacked several times by the man in front of him. If it weren't for the fact that he was an animal based devil fruit power, his recovery power was amazing, otherwise, these injuries might have made him lose his combat effectiveness. Seeing that Khalifa and the others were all subdued, Rob Lucci's mind raced and he thought about what to do next. The pirate hunter in front of him, Zolan, has already made himself helpless, so how strong should the man who has been watching be? Moreover, the rest of the straw hats had already freed their hands, and just after a quick glance, the abilities displayed by a few people were quite troublesome. If they besiege themselves together, they will end up with the same fate as Khalifa. Moreover, the lightning attack at the beginning did not show itself in this one. Is there still someone hiding around? Now in addition to himself on the field, only Kaku can barely hold on, just these two people, let alone the task now, whether they can break through is still a question. Life is returned, paper painted martial arts. But now that the arrow is on the line, I have to send it to see if there is a chance to save Bruno, so maybe there is still a chance. Frankie, eat Bruno. As if he saw Rob Luffy's thoughts, Luffy directly asked Frankie to swallow Bruno inside. The ability to swallow fruits, but there is still a lot that has not been shown. Was pointed out by Luffy to the famous place Frankie, stunned for a moment, and then reacted. Those people suddenly appeared just now, and it seems that it was because of Bruno. Thinking of this, Frankie did not hesitate, opened his mouth wide, and swallowed Bruno, who had been sitting next to him. Except for Luffy and Frankie, no matter who it was, there was a silence at the scene. This really swallowed it, even if I've gone through a lot of amazing adventures with Luffy. But now, a person was directly swallowed by another person who was about the same age as he reminded. Although I know that this is the ability to swallow fruits, after all, this is a living person, unlike swallowing objects directly. He, he, he's not going to die, is he? Looking at Frankie, who had been restored, Usopp, who had been watching from the boat, stumbled and shouted. No, it's just swallowed by the ability to swallow the fruit, not killed, but still released. Luffy explained that Frankie would definitely get on the ship in the end, and Luffy didn't want the other people on the ship to misunderstand anything. Who? Hearing Luffy's words, whether it was Usopp who asked the question, or the others, they all breathed a sigh of relief. If Frankie really eats people, it would be terrible. At this time, Rob Lucci's face was completely dark. Frankie's sudden ability is completely different from the information he and others have gathered in the past. No, no, with Frankie's character, he would never hide with such an ability. It's not a secret that can't be said, and there's no need to hide it at all. That is, is it a recently acquired devil fruit? It's just that after a few days of acquaintance, I'm willing to give the devil fruit to Frankie to eat. Straw Hat Boy, what exactly is your purpose? I'm a scalculated, and I also prepared two devil fruits this time, and I originally planned to let Kaku and Khalifa eat them after the mission was completed. In the current situation, if you can eat those two devil fruits first, you may have an undesirable result. But I didn't expect you to be a devil fruit ability. After experiencing Frankie's cannibalism, Zoro's attention returned to Rob Lucci in front of him. After just a few minutes of fighting, the opponent didn't use this ability to change the state of a human beast. Now that you are suddenly using this ability, are you going to be desperate? The corners of Zoro's mouth hooked an arc, this person was indeed the strongest of these people. Although he will not deceive himself when he sees and hears the domineering, after truly feeling the strength of the other party, Zoro can be said to be completely interested. Did everyone else solve the battle except for the color cook? It seems that he is going to work harder, but he can't lose to Chef Say. We miscalculated this time, but do you think it will be useful to defeat us? Just now, I have already sent back the news from here, and soon, there should be a navy warship surrounding. As for why CP9 sent back the news, it was the navy that came, after all, 
the Navy is also a subordinate agency of the world government. Even if you don't tell the Navy about the ancient weapons, the identity of the straw hats alone is enough for the Navy to dispatch. Navy, come to the capital of the Seven Waters at this time? It shouldn't be a demon slaying order, and besides, this is not the island of justice, and I haven't done anything out of the ordinary, so I don't know who it will be. Hearing Rob Luffy's words, Luffy thought to himself. There is basically no possibility of subduing these CP9s, and Luffy is not worried about keeping a group of world government spies on the ship. There are a lot of secrets on his ship, although he and Melee are two top-notch existences, but they are not afraid of 10,000. Unless you have the ability to resemble the fruit of memory, but if you rely on modifying your memories to get companions, it will not be in line with your original intention. Moreover, in order to obtain the door fruit, Bruno Luffy will definitely not let it go. If you kill someone else's partner and expect someone else to take refuge in you, even if that person really agrees to get on Luffy's ship, next time he will betray himself and get on someone else's ship, why bother? Do you think you're going to make it up to the Navy? Zoro's words made Rob Lucci's face change, and the situation in front of him was indeed not optimistic. Finger gun, pull. Although the situation is not optimistic, it is not Rob Lucci's style to sit back and wait. Seeing that the people on the other side who stopped didn't seem to have any intention of making a move, he and Kaku might not have the possibility of escaping. Rob Lucci, who had taken the form of a leopard man, flicked his sharp fingers, and several air bullets shot at Zoro at a rapid speed. Ding ding ding! Sauron swung his two swords in unison, easily blocking these powerful air bullets. However, because of the action of swinging the knife, Rob Lucci's figure was lost from sight again. However, even if the eyes can't keep up, the domineering of seeing and hearing has not failed. The body turned quickly, and the three generations of Oni Toru and Yuki walked across their chests, blocking Rob Lucci's melee pointing gun that was supposed to appear behind him. It's really fast, facing Rob Lucci, who could appear behind him in the blink of an eye, Zoro grinned. This speed is indeed much faster than Zoro's own speed. But in the case of being domineering, as long as he makes a move in advance, Rob Lucci's speed can't help Zoro at all. Just like Khalifa's attack on Konis before, even if Khalifa's speed is ten times faster than Konis, it doesn't work. Unless Rob Lucci can affect Zoro's mood, or the battle lasts long enough. Soren's domineering energy is exhausted. Otherwise, Rob Lucci is basically impossible to deal damage to Zoro. Of course, if Rob Lucci's strength is much greater than Zoro's, then he can naturally inflict damage on Zoro when he is in his way. But obviously, the current Rob Lucci, even if he transforms into a leopard form, is not much stronger than Zoro. Even, once Zoro is covered with armed color domineering, Rob Lucci only needs to take a single attack and the battle is basically over. On the other side, Sanji and Kaku are in a similar situation. Kaku, who is good at Lanjiao, can't effectively kill Yamaji in front of Sanji, who has seen and heard domineering. On the contrary, because of the continuous use of six forms, his physical exertion is extremely great. You're going to be here, are you straw hats really just going to see for a month? Kaku, who was already gasping for breath, took advantage of the short interval between attacks and took a breath and said. Is this already untenable? If you knew Luffy's current strength, maybe you wouldn't have carried out this operation from the beginning. Sanji secretly complained. The strength of the other party is about the same as his own, and he may be better than himself. This is what Sanji saw from the battle just now, but because of the domineering existence of seeing and hearing it, he became himself pressing the other party to fight. No wonder Luffy is so interested in Marianu's abilities. If there are more and more domineering people in the future journey, it is estimated that he and others will not be as easy as now, right? Frankie, how about it, do you want to set off with us? You know, the world government will not let you go easily, even if you are not afraid, what about these little brothers of yours? Now, there's no need for Luffy to pretend that he doesn't know. The navy is coming, and it's time for the straw hats to go. You know something. Khalifa and the others, who were bound to the ground by Gal Tino with the ability of the wax wax fruit, showed a look that was really the case after hearing Luffy's words. As soon as he came to the capital of the Seven Waters, he directly asked Frankie and Iceberg to build a new ship together. If you don't know them, how would you know that Frankie is also a master shipbuilder? 
However, do you think that if you take Frankie, the world government will let you go? As an agent of CP9, even at this time, they did not say what they wanted to do to capture Frankie. However, this concealment is meaningless to Luffy. Isn't the reason why I became a pirate because of your world government? Anyway, the battle between Zoro and Sanji isn't over yet, and Luffy doesn't mind playing tricks with them. Instead of threatening me, worry about yourselves, do you think, will I let you go? Luffy glanced faintly at the CP9 agent who was bound by the candle shackles. These people, Luffy is thinking about whether to kill them directly. According to the original book, they will be framed by the Spendum guy and hunted down by the world government and the navy. However, after looking at them, they still became CP0, which means that their hearts may still be towards the world government. Is it good for yourself to keep such a person? Moreover, he was destined to kill Bruno, and if he let these people go, they should not be grateful to him. Luffy's eyes flashed with a touch of killing intent, is it better to kill them? Huh? Just as Luffy was about to make a move, a cannonball was flying towards this side at an unreasonable speed in Luffy's domineering perception. It's an old man. Even Luffy, when he sensed this cannonball, couldn't help but be slightly stunned. Sauron, Sanji, it's time for us to go. Even if it is an ordinary navy, Luffy has no intention of fighting hard, let alone carp. It's not that they're afraid, it's that it's not necessary, and besides, these navies are not their own goals. Old man, is it? As soon as Luffy said the old man, Nami thought about who it was. Others may not know who the old man Luffy is talking about, but Nami, who was once saved by Luffy, does. Can be called an old man's existence by Luffy, and he is still a navy, so it can't be anyone else except Carp. But what's going on, and why did Carp come to catch Luffy and them? Is that Mr. Carp? Nami asked in a whisper, there were still CP9 people at the scene. Nami wasn't sure if they knew about the relationship between Carp and Luffy, so it was okay to be cautious. But looking at their appearance before, I probably don't know the relationship between Carp and Luffy. Well, we've got to get ready to go, and the old man won't show mercy. Okay, I'll get ready, Usopp, and set sail. Hearing Luffy's affirmation, Nami didn't hesitate, turned around and shouted to the people who had already ended the battle, but hadn't gotten on the ship yet. Everyone, we're getting ready to go, get back to the ship. Hearing Nami's shout, Konis and the others did not watch the battle between Zoro and Sanji anymore, believing that they would soon be over. Everyone returned to the sunshine one after another, so that only the bound CP9 were left in the open space of the Frankie family. Zoro and Sanji, Rob, Lucy and Kaku, and Frankie and Frankie's younger brothers are still fighting. Frankie, what's going on with it? Seeing that everyone had returned to the ship, Luffy looked at Frankie again, who was still hesitating. Boss, go ahead, we know you want to go to sea, but you can't rest assured that we can't do it. If we can take care of ourselves, you should make a decision for yourself. Yes, Boss Frankie, we are still waiting for you to become famous in the sea. Frankie's little brothers didn't understand what was going on, but they knew that this was an opportunity for their boss. Therefore, even if they are reluctant, they can't selfishly stop Frankie from leaving. You. Hearing the farewell words of the younger brothers, Frankie was teary-eyed and was about to say something, but the sound of a cannonball roared in the distance. Boom. The cannonballs that flew at great speed were shot down into the air by Luffy with a sunset elephant. With such a lot of strength, the old man is really unkind. With this roar, the battle between Zoro and Sanji was basically over. Rob Lucci and Kaku were defeated by a one-move Devil Slash and Demon Wind Foot, respectively. Zoro and Sanji, who had ended the battle, turned around and forgot to glance at the place where the explosion had occurred. The two glanced at each other, did not linger any longer, and at the same time ran towards the Wanli Sunshine. Come on, Boss Frankie, the Straw Hats are going to leave if they don't leave. Although we are gangsters, we haven't done anything bad, and the Navy won't do anything to us, so don't worry. Bastard, is that how you want to get me away? Frankie yelled, glanced at his younger brothers, and then walked towards the sunshine as well. Woohoo! Again, the sound of cannonballs flying, this time no longer just one, but several in a row. And the speed does not decrease in any way just the first shell. Moreover, the shadow of the warship can already be seen in the distance. Sure enough, 
It can't be a demon slaying order. That's right, after all, he and the others didn't make a big fuss like the original book. It's just a warship, so it's much easier to leave, even if it's Carp's warship. Luffy threw several punches in quick succession, and Yuzo's air column destroyed all the cannonballs in the air. By this time, Frankie had arrived on the sunshine. What's the matter? Have you said goodbye to your little brothers? Luffy looked at Frankie, chuckled, and asked casually. HMPH, I just didn't feel comfortable handing over the sunshine to you layman, so I followed. Frankie is a dead duck with a hard mouth, but maybe that's a man's self-esteem, right? What about these CP9 people, do you want to kill them all? Glancing at the CP9 members lying on the ground, Zoro asked. If they were to be killed, with these CP9s unable to move at this time, Zoro could kill them all with a few knives. Luffy pondered for a moment, looked up and caught a glimpse of the approaching navy warship, and suddenly the corners of his mouth curled. Rob Lucci, my invitation is always valid, if you change your mind, you can always find us through your lifeguard. Shouting in front of the navy warship, Luffy turned back satisfied. After hearing Luffy's shout, Zoro put down his right hand holding the hilt. After many years of crawling and rolling on the sea, Sauron still knows quite well about some intrigues. Luffy, when did you invite them, the people of the world government, do you want to invite them? However, Zoro understood what Luffy meant, but there were obviously several innocent guys on the ship. Of course, Luffy who invited something didn't say anything, and as for the lifeguard, it was even more impossible. However, there is a saying that it is not so easy for them to continue to return to CP9 or the world government. What would happen if the people from the world government asked them for Luffy's lifeguard, but they couldn't get it? Besides, Spendum may still be fueling the flames in it, Luffy doesn't believe it, they have reached this level, and they can still join CP0. Perhaps, when the time comes, they will really consider joining themselves. As for saying that Luffy will kill Bruno, it can only be said that there are a few people who are agents who treat them sincerely. What do you mean by that bastard? When are we going to get his lifeguard? And in the bound CP9, there are also people who have bad brains. For example, a certain grumpy dog, oh no, it's a wolf, at this time, he is very puzzled when Rob Luffy got Luffy's lifeguard. Stupid, that's a way to provoke us and the world government. Khalifa's face was gloomy, and he glanced at Rob Luki and Kaku, who were not far away, but who were not restrained, but had fainted. What? How dare that bastard do that? Wait, does it make sense for him to do that? The simple minded Gabra is still confused, and even if he is restrained, he can't settle down. We failed our mission, what do you think that Spendum guy will do? Khalifa glanced at Gabra angrily, this person is so stupid, how did he pass the assessment and become CP9 at that time? Even if Gabra was stupid, he would understand what it meant. As for Spendum's bastard, he must have put all the blame on himself and others, and maybe even added fuel to the fire. Lieutenant General Karp, do you want to continue the attack? On the dog headed warship, Bogart, who was Karp's adjutant, looked at all the downed shells and couldn't help but ask. Being able to shoot down all the shells thrown by Karp can only be said to be the grandson of Mr. Karp. Bogart still has a certain understanding of the relationship between Karp and Luffy. After all, it can be said that Karp is one of the closest people in the Navy, and some secrets are still known. However, looking at Karp's merciless throwing of cannonballs just now, outsiders definitely can't see that the two are actually grandchildren. Ha ha ha. No, it won't help to throw shells again, it's better to go down and fight, I haven't beaten that stinky boy for a long time. On his own warship, Karp didn't care at all if his words would cause misunderstanding among others. But maybe on someone else's ship, Karp won't care in the slightest, right? A question mark slowly appeared on Bogart's head. Although I know that Karp is usually out of tune, and he trains soldiers mercilessly, but that's your grandson, who actually has itchy hands because he doesn't beat his grandson for a long time? Lieutenant General Karp, what about those CP9 people? Do you need medical treatment? It was a pink haired young man who was not strong. Didn't you hear what the straw hat boy said? and let them fend for themselves before they figure things out. Although he knew that Luffy's words just now should be just a discord plan, he was not the only one on the scene. Moreover, Karp already has a bad impression of the people in the world government, and since the other party has this suspicion, 
there is no need for him to pay attention to it at all. Kirby, there's still a lot to learn. Bogart glanced at the rookie sailors in front of him, although it was only about a month of training, but the other party's will was really good. Otherwise, it is impossible to exercise the original fat in just this short period of time. Yes, Mr. Bogart, I will try. Kirby saluted Bogart and said he was following the teachings. There was a serious look in those eyes, but at the same time there was a hint of anticipation. Mr. Luffy, are you so strong? Of course. Kirby also saw the scene where Luffy had just destroyed the cannonball that Carp had thrown out. With such a shell, Kirby asked himself that it was completely impossible to resist except for the shaving he had just learned. I'll leave it to you, Bogart, and the old man is going to see my grandson. As he spoke, Carp ignored the reaction of the ship's sailors, and disappeared on the deck with a single step. At the same time, the sound of air explosions was constantly coming from the front of the warship. Smack, Bogart slapped his head, this Carp, just go, and he had to tell Luffy that he was his grandson and now he had to explain again. Ah, grandson, Mr. Carps, sure enough, after Carp left, the sailors on the ship exclaimed. The relationship between Carp and Luffy is currently unknown to others except for some generals of the navy, but now these sailors also know. However, thanks to the fact that these people are all Carps diehards, they won't chew the root of their tongues, otherwise everyone will know about it when the time comes, and the marshal of the warring states will have a headache again. Not to mention Bogart, who had a headache on how to explain here, Carp, who left the warship, quickly came to Luffy and the others with a moon step. C. C. Navy, Carp, who suddenly appeared on the deck of the Miles of Sunshine, startled everyone except Luffy and Nami, but he was still on guard for the first time. To be able to cross such a distance and come directly to the Wanli Sunshine is estimated to be very strong. Why, get on my ship, are you going to be a pirate with me? For Carp's behavior of rushing directly onto his ship, Luffy could only respond angrily. Stinky boy! What nonsense are you talking about? Haven't you felt the iron fist of old man's love for a long time? Mr. Carp, why are you here? Although the last time they met was five years ago, Nami recognized Carp immediately. Looking at the old man in front of her, who seemed to have a lot more gray hair than five years ago, Nami asked a little wryly. After all, it was Carp who saved him from the pirates at the time, and now he has become a pirate, which makes Nami a little unsure of how to face Carp. Oh, it's little Nami, I haven't seen her for five years, has she grown so beautiful? Carp didn't care about this at all, but after seeing the girl's appearance, his eyes suddenly lit up and he came to Luffy. This girl is so beautiful now, have you done it? With that obscene look, Luffy thought he had seen the yellow ape. This old man still has such a side, Carp, is that Carp? Although it is true that Luffy has heard about his relationship with Carp, it is the first time that everyone has seen Carp. Carp, the hero of the Navy, suddenly got on the pirate ship of himself and others, although the other party was the grandfather of his own captain, but he still felt frightened. However, although Carp approached Luffy just now, his voice was not lowered. As soon as these words came out, a black line crossed everyone's heads, and there was a feeling of image disillusionment in an instant. And Nami, as the person concerned, didn't dare to attack, after all, maybe she should also call the other party's grandfather? You didn't go to my ship just to talk this nonsense, did you? Luffy didn't want to pay attention to the stinky old man in front of him at all, he just wanted him to leave quickly, and he and the others could continue sailing. Stinky boy, how did you talk to grandpa? As a grandfather, let me come to see what's wrong with my grandson. Saying that, Carp had the meaning of beating people, and the itchy hands he said on the warship before were not meant to be a joke. Speak as you speak, don't move your hands or feet. Looking at Carp's already raised fist, Luffy quickly spoke. What are you kidding, there are so many people, if Carp comes like this, won't the indifferent image he has built up for so long be ruined? Hearing Luffy's words, everyone looked at the two of them curiously, wanting to know what Carp would do to Luffy. What are you talking about, how could I do it to my grandson? Carp snorted, and the fist that was originally outstretched suddenly stretched out a finger and slashed at his nose. As for what he said, Luffy scoffed at it, and he wouldn't do it to himself. This sudden action of reaching out and clenching a fist, if it weren't for his quick reaction, wouldn't he have already hit it? Oh, stinky old man. 
So, you're here to put on a show of your nonsense? Luffy thinks Carp should have something to tell him, otherwise he would have to run to his own ship? 